I'm sad. I'm so sad. I'm like, hello, hello, welcome. So, so, so. I, I, I just, I just, no, don't laugh. Wait, 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 no, no, wait, 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 wait. ignore my fault, okay? I'm sorry. Just, Ignore my faults, okay? Ignore my faults. Alright, I was just trying to be like, look at me! Look at look at my little friend above my head, but like <laughs> uh, I was gonna ask what do you mean need hydration to get through this? <laughs> no! I don't think I mean I make mishap sure, but like I I can I can make I'm just it's not bad. It's okay, hold on. <laughs> Listen, I made I always make several mistakes, okay? You're saying look at me, you're completely off screen. I wanna be like, look, I'm down here. These glasses work What the fuck? That's fucked up. That's fucked up and you know it, okay? I was gonna be like, look, look at the little guy. He's above my head. Isn't he cute? Isn't he adorable? Just, just now, I just wanna just cry, cry out a little corner, okay? I may have mistakes. I may have done several mistakes. <laughs> this is just Lord Normie, okay? We're just gonna act like, you know, we're just at the beginning, okay? Okay, let's, let's start over and act like none of that happened, okay? Oh, by the... <laughs> I mean, okay, let's just act like this, like none of this has ever happened, okay? We're, we're just gonna act like this is the start, okay? Uh, ba 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 ba, all that, okay. Now, now we're good, okay. Hi, hi, I'm down here, okay? Let me see, look down this shit. Excuse me? The fuck you said to me? The fuck are you saying to me? Listen, look, look, look. It's not genetics! It's not genetics. I'm still correct height. I logged in for my monthly three pulls and I got hot locked on. <laughs> okay, anyways, welcome. I I <laughs> Welcome. Anyways, um surprise, surprise, I'm gonna be doing pool. I'm gonna be actually doing the pools early. However, funny thing is, okay, uh, the difference is is that um I'm actually not on my account, funny enough. You see this? This is someone you know I for definitely don't have. I'm actually on someone else's account. Val has given me the power to actually pull in his account and I'm terrified of what the fuck I'm gonna get. Probably for Why? I'm still correct height! The fuck? Yes, I know. Is it a certain someone's account? Yes. <laughs> it's electric <laughs> You are just finding other things. Yeah, no, it looks like a little like different color just, just for the holiday. You know? At least just for this month, because I was like, oh, why not? Just rock out a little different. Anyways, um, yeah, I've been trusted to pull. In adventuring, oh my as god. In business, Wait, what? Have to seize the opportunity while it's there. I didn't do any of Vel shit. I literally just logged in. I didn't even turn around. 
Val, what the fuck is going on? Val, did you do her story? I was doing story. Oh. Oh. I just. I'm sorry. I just. I just. I just... <laughs> There's a pull. Yeah, no, I'm pulling on bells. I'm pulling on bells. Bell has a lot of wishes. <laughs> a lot. A lot of wishes, and you've given me too much power. Okay, do it fast. Uh, Val, I didn't know, okay? You know what? Fine. Bibbidi bobbidi. I don't know what the fuck is off my property. Val, I don't know if I should be trusted with this. I'm sorry. I didn't know you were doing story. I thought you were not going to touch it at all. Oh, my God. For fuck's sakes, just please just give me that five star already so I don't have to be yelled at. Please. I didn't get shit. Val, give me goodies. Hey, boss. The name's Gaming. I'm a guard from the communications office. So, all this needs shipping, right? Shh, oh, no, no. You grab a seat and have some tea. I'll get these packed up for you, no problem. It'll only take me a minute, then we can get the delivery scheduled. Oh, and if you ever want to book a Wu show date, me and my crew are available in a hurry. The troops called the Mighty Michael Beast, and I'm the head. What? Not to brag or anything. <laughs> Wait! I. <laughs> Keep this in mind, I have not seen any of the trailers or like any done pulls. <gasps> I actually like that! What? Wait, 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 what? He's adorable! He's actually like adorable, what? <gasps> Oh my god, no! No, don't make me one! This one! No! Oh, Phil, just wait for land to write, please. Please wait for land to write, Phil. Just, just don't do it, Phil. Don't, don't fucking listen. Oh yeah, that's a new thing. They actually saw their intro lines when you pull for them. That's cool! I haven't done anything. I haven't even done trial. I've just been so busy. Oh my god. I know. I know. That was the whole point. To ignore my urges. But like... What if I just want the four star? I'll be like Kavi all over again. Oh my god. I want you. Please, please, the sooner the better. Please, the sooner the better. Just please, the sooner the better. No, that's not sooner the better. Val, Val, please. I, I think my luck is running out. Val, can, can you, Val, Val, what happened to the emergency luck? Val, get the glass. Oh my God, I have reached the bottom of the barrel. Okay, oh no. By the way, I was like, zero pity? And you trust me to pull? Oh my God, no. Wait, 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 wait. Pulling, I'm pulling, I'm pulling! Hurry up, come home! Come home! If only there are other four stars that talk that talked when you get them. <gasps> oh, if only! Okay, please, bird. Mom, come home, please. I I I, I should I should brag. Come, come home. Oh my god, Belle. I think the I think you just have bad luck and everything you touched. Okay. Maybe not. Okay, please. Two purple stars to prove me wrong. Two purple stars to prove me wrong. Purple! Oh my god. I, 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 well, I mean, at least I'm getting the new character. Funny enough. I, I, I think. <laughs> you know, Farazan would also be nice. I don't know how many Farazans you have, Val. I'm sorry. I don't know. Val, I, I think this is a very bad idea. Come home. Come. Dad. Oh my god. I, maybe I just have bad luck. <laughs> Jesus. Where's all my luck? No, I don't think any luck could help you out with this. I, yeah, this may have been a mistake. Ah! Uh... Oh wow! I think I just throw my luck in the description. I think that's what it is. All right, I, I, I think that's all it just went to. Holy shit! Yeah, actually, in the past when I pulled Phil would actually go. Actually, yeah, in the past, whenever I pull with Phil would always go to pity. Oh my god. Oh my god! I don't want to see the rest! Oh 
No, Val. You should do that on my account too. Ah. Ah! Val! Val! I don't know if I want I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I like. No, Val, I think maybe it's your account that's cursed. I think it's your account. Maybe we can't bottle my luck. I thought we could actually bottle my luck. Jesus. Hey, Val, how many was that? Please tell me it was not anywhere near pity. <laughs> ah! Ah! It was enough. Please just come home. I'm trying to prove something here. Stop saying GG! Just be really kicking, please! I don't want- I don't want Val to be my ass! Oh, wait! Award. This is the Sumerial Puzzler's League Lifetime Achievement Award. And there's wait something from the Synopsium on Ruin Mechanism. Wait a minute! What do you think? Got any interest in becoming my student? Ahem. <clears throat> just Val. as a note, I am from the Haravid of Darshan. You'll get lost What the fuck? You, you never pulled for a single Farazon? What the fuck? Wait, why did you pull for at least this one? You didn't get a single one of her? What is wrong with you? What? A cursory change in one's appearance and you barely <laughs> recognize me. But let one dispel any doubt. One is in all things unconstrained and unabashed. Free to live as one pleases. Go where one desires. And journey with whomsoever one wishes. Uh, nevertheless, <clears throat> In light of one's considerable renown, please call me Xian Yun in public. I hope they didn't tell you, but it's a guarantee. I thought I was at 50 50 with you. Why is such a. T <sighs> Why is this such a. Ba bad bubbles! Bad bubbles! Oh my god. I don't. Oh no. Oh no. I failed 50-50 on Farina. You pull Farina? Damn, you're not lucky, bitch. <laughs> Sorry. I. <laughs> well, look at the bright side. I, I, another weapon? Oh, no! <sighs> okay, is it guaranteed that stupid fan? Val, I don't... Wait, no? Val. Val. Well, you know, I got Tenari. Oh my god, yeah. No, that's not me then! That's you! You're spreading me the curse! My luck was not this bad. Well. No, my luck was not this bad. My luck was not this bad. You know what? We'll go for green for green. Hold on. Oh, that, that, that's not what I want. We'll go for green for green. Give me, give me one second. Green for green. I think that's what we need. That's not what I want. I don't want the name guitar. Want to go for green, all right? Maybe with a little green little bag, and maybe we'll actually get something, all right? Somehow. <laughs> I'd be looking at you. <laughs> I'd be looking at you, Bubbles. You should have let me do it. You should have let me do it. Oh my God! Don't. Ah, I'm worried now. Even better. I don't know. This is on your luck. Oh my God. Ah, uh, think it's just too do afterwards. At least make me have a character. Are we just on a holiday special? Are we just on a holiday special? Ning, what are you doing? Well, I. Uh, well, at least there's two purples. I don't like any of this. Well, well. That's almost that right, so I guess it's close enough. I I guess so! Please just give me the purple the, give me the stupid fan! That's not the fan! Can I have the fan, please? That's all I ask, please. It's not even mine! Well it's Leo related! I can't be mad at that! I Maybe it's just one of those things you can't bottle like my luck, okay? I'm scared on like I wanna pull because again there's there's Farazan, and that's why I'm just like, I want Farazan. Well, well, this may be bad. Other one, other one more. You tell me to keep going or not. I don't know anymore. 
Yahoyo is giving us some free pulls soon. That is true. Oh my god. Val! I got another leeway stick! Stick! Oh my god. Oh my god. Val, I think you just have an unlucky account. <laughs> You have such an unlucky account! You can't blame me for this. This one you can't blame me for. You you can't blame me this at all. Oh, same with the rest of my lantern ring. I want it. It's worse because, like. I like this one! Forest on his wise! It says, I like the idea of you can have forest on constellations! My Genshin account is so bad, RNG. It is! I know you have a curse! You have a curse! I might do the 75 free of Ovel. I'll do one more. I'll, I'll do one more. Okay, this is right here. The Star Wars is pretty good. RNG. Oh my god. Vel! Why is your Genshin shit so bad? This one's not on me. This is not on me. I never tried the characters. I don't even know what half of them do. I've been like busy and shit. I, 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 this is so bad. Jesus Christ. This is like the worst pulls I've ever done. Val, please tell me to stop. <laughs> please tell me to stop. If you don't tell me to stop, oh my god. <sighs> I, I, maybe I jinx myself. Maybe somehow I jinx myself. Okay, you know what? You know what? That was a bad thing. A little. Little dagon, the green dagon was a bad idea. Terrible idea. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, what should we do? Keep going? Oh, stop. <laughs> you know what it is? I think I, I think because I watched that, like, just ten more pulls. Please shine on me. Shine on me. Oh my god. Please shine on me. Oh. Can't stop the pulls of the weapon. <laughs> oh, Val! Oh my God, Val! I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no. Well, please, I don't. Sucrose. So weak. I don't like this one, man. <laughs> this was a five. <laughs> this hurts. It hurts me. It hurts my soul. I don't want to ever pull up batters again. Oh. oh, I don't like this. I don't like this one. Bit. Now I'm nervous what it is. Please be the fan. I believe. Oh, please, I- It's not even mine, but I just wanted to come home! Stop- Stop torturing me. Stop torturing me! Oh my god, stop, 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 stop! Just come home, just- Just, just one more! Oh my god, we finally fucking got the weapon! Oh my god. You know what? Charn went to fucking Fitty, but at least I got it! Alright? The weapon one is always the one I'm terrified of. We got it. It's still a win. I don't give a fuck what anyone says. It's still a win. Holy sh- <gasps> There's a little fan! There's, there's a little wave going in the middle! Oh my god, it's so cool! Oh my god! Sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh my god, wait, that actually looks cool! What the fuck? Val! <laughs> what time to start saying your pre was like, yeah, I, yep, I, I, alright, well, at least I got you the fan. <laughs> oh, hush up, you still. In Wait a minute. As in business, you always have to Wait a minute. The opportunity while it's there. Don't you have star glitter? Wait a minute, don't, don't you have star glitter? Val? Val, don't make me go in that damn store. I will open that goddamn store. You tell me how much shit you have right now. So reset. Yeah, I know the shop reels are resets, but how many Stargillers you have in stock? 
You have enough. I know for a fact you might have enough. There's somewhere lingering in there. Val. I don't know. Val. How much shit you have in there? I will open the damn store and you, 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 I will do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Don't make me do it. Don't make me do it, Val. I, I have the lovely little cursor right here, okay? I get, I get sick of your shit. I get sick of your shit, Val. 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 Let me in. Let me in in that lovely little star of yours. This little star glitter. The little, little sparkly things. The things that are twinkles. Got the weapon. Probably have some. Little crow. That, 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 that. I, I dead ass want to know. I dead ass want to know how many you have. <gasps> Yes. Not a burb. Not a damn. Bell the fuck. Bell the fuck. Now nah, I got dead ass. I'm not gonna lie. Bell has actually saved a lot of primos. Dead ass. Bell, what the fuck? You have like 24 little shits out there. Bell, what the fuck? <laughs> Bell. That's probably left over from Farina. I know, it probably is actually. Probably dead ass is that. I could never. Well, I've had many precious little things in there. Lingering. Okay, let me go switch on my account. I want to do the stories. <laughs> and the worst part is, I forgot to ever do a intro. I was like, I was say hi, my name is Phil. Have a little ragged little hand on my head. And act like none of this ever happened. None of that ever happened. Nope, nope, absolutely not. I still want to keep the purple, to be honest. Having more than ten pull, too much power for me. Yeah, no. Thanks, Val, for letting me pull. I, I'm sorry. I could have got better shit, to be honest. <laughs> I, I don't even know if like it's your account that's cursed, or maybe I used all my luck. Maybe I use all my luck, to be honest. Maybe I kind of toyed with like a lot. Oh god, hi, Ben. How's it going? Let me read backups. Uh, oh, Val. I, I I don't know what to tell you. I'm sorry. Was you? No, it's not me. It's not me. It's not. You can't blame me if it wasn't. No, it's not me, okay? Oh god, you're cringy ass, Nene, baby of legend. What the fuck you mean? Well, I still have a lot of story and content to do with more people. Yeah, you have plenty, actually. Exploring! You have a lot of exploring, little hell. A lot of exploring. Mm. Oh my god. Yeah, no. I was thinking to, like, save the little dragon, like, for, like, the new, like, the lantern right event. But I was just like, I'm too eager. He's so cute. I want to keep him. I want to keep him. He's actually pretty cute. He's adorable. Look at him. A little bum my head. A little bum my head. He actually, the wings, he don't come with wings. He actually just said that. <sighs> Maybe my luck is bad actually today. <laughs> Maybe my luck is actually pretty bad. <laughs> uh, uh. Maybe actually dead ass. Maybe it's my luck. Maybe that's what it is. Because whenever I pull, it's not so bad, to be honest. Oh, good luck today. Considering that I used, like, a lot of energy today, I think my luck has been gone, spiraling downwards. Oh my god. What? What happened? What's wrong? I said, oh my god. Like, oh my god, oh my god? Or like, what's up? Can't blame me. Once the Wish History updates, I will update you on... How well you did your pulls! Oh my god. For this stream, you got privileged. Not even! Oh my god. It's, it's not even the case. Hold on. Hold on. I'm trying to I'm trying to get off my account, to be honest. <laughs> like I said, I wasn't on. <laughs> I wasn't on mine. 
If only I was privileged. If only. Hmm. Oh my god. Ah. Ah, I'm scared of looking back and how bad the history could have been. Uh, oh my god. Uh. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Oh god. Wait, game, game, come, come back, let me in, let me back into my world! Oh my god. For mom was stubborn on these pulls yesterday, did, ten, did nine, ten pulls, but it was worth it. Nine, ten pulls? Isn't that, isn't that a hard ass pity? Fuck. Hey, damn. Look at that hard ass pity though. Damn. Uh, I could not. Ah. I could not. Is it zero? That's crazy now. That is crazy. Oh my god, hold on. Genshin is doing that thing again! Oh my god, hello, welcome. Oh. Genshin, please. Please let me in there. Are you a woman or man? Or a man? Well, both have man in the name. So I guess both. Oh my god. Which I didn't know, unfortunately. That is sad. You're asking, as the Burger King man, are you the burger or the king? I could be both. I have man in there. Mm. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Where do I go? Alright, story. Yes. Genshin. Story. Which I didn't know, unfortunately. Oh. That does kind of hurt a little bit. Like I said, I haven't even tried the characters. And I'm scared to try them. Because I'm going to be like, I want. Oh, I want. Oh, I want. Okay. Time to save for Primo's like Val. Oh. So much down the drain. Like I, like I said, I've been so busy, to be honest. Several things has happened. Like, I haven't even, tra I haven't even watched the trailer. I haven't even watched the trailer at all. Oh my god. Ugh, you need to try. She, she's so fun. Should I try her before doing the story? I feel like it's a little- I feel like it's a bit appropriate. Oh god. Oh boy. I just fuck it. I'm actually eager, alright? I- Like I haven't even watched the trailer at all. I, I just been so fucking busy to be honest. Oh god, you try. She's so fun. <sighs> Please don't make me pull. Like I see it far as on, and I'm like, oh, what if I pull? But also, I'm afraid of pulling, and then I realize, oh god, there goes my fifty-fifty. Uh, like it's the honestly my reason. Oh my god. Oh, it's so weird actually seeing her. How did how does she attack? <laughs> Like, I feared she was a catalyst after pulling. Oh my god. She's so elegant! How'd she look when she stopped? Ah! I was expecting a little extra flash. Most catalysts usually don't actually have a little, like, pizzazz with them. Okay, how do I do this? Oh, wait, 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 how do we- hold on, how did I do that? How did I do that? Wait a minute. Oh, shit! You need to do her skill three times to tap. Three times? I just, like, did a dash. Is there a difference? Or maybe there's just, like, a certain attack. Let me figure this. Oh! <gasps> so pretty! So I'm guessing- okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Like I said, I haven't seen a trailer or demo or anything like that at all. Okay, so I, f I figured the plunging... Wait, healing bonus? Wait, she heals? Or it's just a coincidence? Healing bonus, when a character coming to the party member, you getting the effect will cause a record of healing, which overflows the duration. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, when your active party member hits a normal attack charge, plunging... Uh, basically all of the above increased by eight percent of the recording effectively 
Her burst heals? What the fuck? Okay, I, I, I should not go in Constellation. That's if I manage to get more than one. Okay, that's just basic attack. Uh, plunging. Do it three times and do a Sky Ladder damage. Oh, wait, what? Her C4, her skills heal too? You will not tempt me. You will not tempt me. You will not tempt me at all. Please do not tempt my ass. Uh, brings forward. Based on character's attack. Healing. Oh my god. You like a penny with your burst. Look, ever since seeing that fan art of like her and Xiao with the glasses thing, I was already kind of getting sold to be honest. I was like, I don't know anything what she does. But after seeing that fan art, I was like, oh, wait, what if I actually want her? What if I actually want her, want her? Oh no, can I just like, you know, do it after story and then maybe, maybe you'll just figure it out? I don't want to do like that little simple pulling, only for my luck to just not happen. Oh my god, cousin characters to plunge attack crit rate. It, to increase? Oh my god, that's her burst, right? Okay, yeah, that's her burst. Uh, nearby attacking, nearby active characters plunging attack, shock waves damage, and increase of... Oh my god, her attack gets higher? That's more healing? Please. For the love of god, don't do this to me. Oh! Wait, hold on, what's her charge? Charging attack. Oh my god! You can't do this to me. You cannot do this to me. No, my god! Oh! Please don't do this. Don't, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. <laughs> ah. At least I could do it quick. That's what I like. The fact that I could do it quick. Oh my god, please. Gaming kind of caught my attention and I'm just like slowly, just like, oh, don't do this to me. Sorry, I like the fact that she targets. You can actually see the little target thing. Strike cloud converge. Oh. Wait, you do the same? No. Please, no. No, I saw a little dog. Oh my god, no. No. Why are the push units so nice? Okay, that was not something to happen. I saw the healing. No. I like how the little thing is like next to her, like the contraption she does. No. Why? Oh, the little dog was with him. The little dog was with him. A million new haircut. Have it's just a little companion. He's not part of my hair. Oh, this is a nice thing. Like I said, I haven't done... No. No, I have... No. No. I, I think that's enough conscience. No. Please. No, don't do this to the film. <laughs> Target's actually good. You can hit an enemy midair. I like that. Oh. This gambling didn't go well. I used a whole shit ton of primos on like my mod's account. I've been back to my account, but like fuck. It's your brain. <laughs> I actually like this one. Oh my god. Liwe, stop doing this to me. Stop doing this to me. Out of all the fucking nations. Liwe is like the one that I'm just like, please. Don't make me come back. Look, there's a little dog! There's a dog! It was a doggy! 
I need claymore too. That's what I I'm a sucker for claymore users. No. Please. Like first it's catalyst use versus catalyst like nail users, but like this. No. <laughs> Why do you do this to me? Just no! No! You can't! Please, I don't want it to be another character that's gonna be in the bench! I have so many! I have so many sitting on the bench! You can't do this to me! No! Not another one! <laughs> Not another one. Oh, please spare me. Bro, my primos. My primos are gonna be gone again. Oh, I see bad. I have no element. I have corruption in my mind. Please, fucking. Oh no. The, f the French have me by the balls. You can't do this to me. No. Look how much freebies I've saved. I've been good. I've been good. I've been good. Can't do this to me. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah. <laughs> you can't, bro. Please. Fucking mercy. Mercy. Oh my god. Let me see. What if I were to go to DP? If I, hypothetically, hypothetically, if I were to get her, if I were, do I, do I have a goblet? I don't even, she skills off attack. Oh no. Hypothetically speaking, if I were to go after her, do I still have that goblet? Oh my god. No, I'm gonna drown. No. Oh my god, let me see. Hypothetically speaking. Do I have still have that goblet? Oh my god. <sighs> Please. For the life of me. You can't do this to me. You can't. Ah. <laughs> at me. Which is borrow artifacts from Ganyu and Dia. I don't want her to be borrowing! I wanted them to be stingy! Can't be around. Alright, see ya. Good luck. Never that we'll recommend the right water for you with them. <laughs> oh my god. I'm in the mines right now! Would you like some rocks? I could give you some rocks. I would, I would happily give you some rocks. Oh my why is it that, you know, I, st I stay away, Lewin reminds me, hey, remember when you actually liked us? Remember? Don't let the French win. No, no, no. Remember what this game was made by. Remember who made us? You remember who made us? The nation of fucking Lewin did. Please, I just want to do her story. Just let me do her story. Don't make me pull. I'm going to act like none of this ever happened. That's all I got to do. I'm just going to accept it. Mind our own business. Go on the mountain. We've been to so many places lately. What do you say we take a day off from adventuring and just find somewhere nice to relax? Ah! Hmm. Let Paimon think. Where are some nice places we could go? Oh, why don't we pay Cloud Retainer a visit on Mount Mountsong? It's been a while since we last saw that illuminated bird. She's always the one popping up out of nowhere and scaring us half to death. 
So let's surprise her this time. Not really. We kind of just been ignoring her as majority of the time. And she always has something. She always has something to say with the girls, too. <sighs> she always has something to say. Oh my god. Just don't. Just don't. Just don't. Don't. Whatever you do. Please do not. All right? I know I commented you in the past that you remind me of Bayonetta, but like, don't do this to me. Please, no. Please, no. I hate everything. Sorry, I didn't mean to yawn. <laughs> like, I've been just very incredibly busy. Oh my god. I don't want to pull. What do you in those level parts are? Oh my god. They're a pain to find. Ah. <laughs> it's gonna be like I'll hate them all over again. It was kind of like similar with Nouvellet for me because they required the start. Please don't. Oh my god. Damn, clear water, Jane. They're water jades? I have to go swim for them? Clug, clug. Fuck, fucking god, I always hate this spot every time. I remember coming here all the time, trying to get from point A to point B, trying to do my dailies, act like none of this. Just like free and all over again. <sighs> if I fail the 50, I'll be up guaranteed. I will have a guarantee the next time. But I also need primos for weapons! Wait, I'm gliding up here. Hold on. Wait, I'm gliding. <laughs> The first time we came here, we even brought offerings and everything. Considering that you know, she was okay with us. And when we told her that Rex Lapis oh had been assassinated, God. she immediately threatened to squash Leo at Harbor. Paimon thought she'd be impossible to get along with, but now that we've spent some more time together, she's really not like that at all. Yeah, I don't know, you know, at first no one bat an eye when she threatened us like that. But as soon as she got her, like, other form, immediately we're just like, oh. I I hope she, I hope her statement of being squashed is the same statement of why we should be fearing her. But I don't think it's going to be the case. We probably don't need to bring any offerings now that we've gotten to know her pretty well, right? Mm -hmm. Still, Paimon's got some snacks around here somewhere, so if she really wants something, we can just use that. Paimon... You put sugar and slime together. I don't think that's a good idea. Huh? Traveler, did something catch your eye? I don't think we ever seen her before. Whoa, what a pretty lady. Is she also here to visit Cloud Retina? Seems like she could also seems like she could also be a powerful adeptus. Hmm. Cover her mouth, shape her wit. Oh my god! <laughs> Please no. Please, no, don't do this to me. No, don't, don't, don't mention those two. Don't mention those two. Don't mention them. We haven't seen their form. We have not seen their, like, a, a, a human form. No. Okay, no. I would gladly allow myself to be squashed. <laughs> what did I just say? No, bad, bad. I will spray you with a bottle. No, bad. No, bad, bad, bad. Yeah, you're right. Ooh. Oh, it takes one look and you can tell she's someone special. As expected of that bird lady, really. She must have a whole bunch of adepti friends from all over the country. <sighs> Please. No. <laughs> Don't do this. Okay, but if we're both friends of Cloud Retainer, then we're basically friends by association, right? Want to go I'm up to her and say hello? Goddamn bottle. Oh my god. Who knew you were such a social butterfly, Paimon? Hmm. Well, you make more connections is a part of Paimon's job as your reliable guide. You know, Let's got this. I kind of, sometimes I wish I kind of had no memory of like, I sometimes wish I had no memory of like the events or past events. Because whenever you do a story and you have no like, like you have no one telling you who that is or anything like that. And when you properly, like, let's just say you want to meet her and you didn't do any past events or you know nothing of the information. I feel like you would have a better experience and you'll also be surprised. You'll be like, who the fuck is that? Mm. 
Like, it'll be like one of those things you're like, oh, they can have human forms? There's memories wondering. Yep. Mm. Um, hi, my name is Tainan, and this is the Traveler. <laughs> the fell is the fell. Just say everything in nice and even tone. <laughs> um, Paimon doesn't think we've met, but we're also friends of Cloud Retainer. May we have the pleasure? You two. <laughs> oh shit! I didn't mean to skip that. What the fuck? What the fuck did I click? The thing is, Phil, Cloud Retainer's leaks are almost as old as Genshin herself. Genshin itself. But the thing is, I know nothing about the leaks. I know nothing about the leaks. We waited for years to see this come full circle. Really? What is this tomfoolery? Has this shift in form so clouded your eyes that you no longer recognize one anymore? See, the way how she talks is like, oh, okay, now I know who you are. Cloud Retainer? Huh? You're a crane? <gasps> Cloud Retainer the crane! Human? How did that happen? Oh, donning human form is scarcely any test of one's abilities. As for your confusion, one merely had no reason to indulge such inclinations before. Oh my god. So, uh, you're indulging now because? Oh, wait, but here's the thing. I like. Would it be? Mm. So does like Moon Carver and Mountain Shaper like you know have some info about them? You know, since we have you know Cloud Retainer here. You know, wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Do, 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 do they? That you know, blink twice. But do you feel people won't ask? Ask, but like, is there is there some 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 dart in there? You know, just just just, uh, just asking, my well, friend. One has made plans to pay a visit to some disciples at Liyue Harbor. Taking on a human form for such a trip is simply a way to make matters less conspicuous. <laughs> Give up. <laughs> You? Worrying about keeping a low profile? You're the one who likes to pop up out of nowhere all over the place. In fact, Paimon can think of several examples. Like last year, when you suddenly appeared on the top of a roof without any warning. Or... You just died so... Who's him? <clears throat> Feels like Cloud Retainer has her reasons, but doesn't want to discuss them too openly. I almost forgot! Paimon brought you gifts! Agree not to bring that up unless she asked. No, 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 don't. Oh, so you have taken care to follow the proper rules of etiquette after all. Most commendable. Kind of your tries, but but fails. Looks um, differently. Up. Well. See, I didn't press that button. The same's on me. You don't mind, right? One has never found oneself lacking in basic comforts. On the contrary. It is the gesture that one values above all else. So long as you've shown proper respect and consideration, the quantity or quality of the gift is but a trivial matter. Mm. <sighs> that kind of makes Paimon feel a little guilty for trying to keep them for herself. Anyway, where were we before you reminded Paimon about the gifts? We Cloud Retainer said that she was going to visit some of her disciples. I keep thinking she only wait, does she only have two or she had more than two? Ah, right. So by disciples, you must mean Ganyu and Chenha. It's also been a while since we last saw them. Maybe we can come too. One plan to extend the invitation even if you had not raised the matter yourself. Hmm. Shanha and Ganyu should be quite pleased to see you again. <laughs> Considering the outfits, we're also pleased to see them again. However, one would first inquire as to the reason behind your visit here. You have cause to seek one's company? Ah, uh, no reason in particular. Yeah, we just found ourselves missing you and wanted to see how you were doing. Mm. We were hoping you'd tell us one of your stories. Who knew we'd run into your human form while we were at it? Hmm, <laughs> we're definitely missing you, alright. 
Is that so? Please, no. If there are no urgent matters at hand, then let us make haste for Liyue Harbor. Ganyu is likely still working at Yue High Pavilion, so that shall be our first stop. Sounds great! Then let's all go to Liyue Harbor! Oh, God. I mentioned before, like, out of all the characters, like, with different language and voice, I said before, Ganyu scares the shit out of me in Korean because <sighs> of how quiet Ganyu she has sounds. Been quite busy with work as of late. One can count on one tell in the number of times she returns to Mount Aung each year. Shanuha has also secured employment recently. In her Wait, correspondence what? with me, she wrote that she shall have no need to return for the foreseeable future. The fuck? She has a job? Do they think one was so easily mollified? One shall investigate everything with one's own eyes and decide for oneself if their living conditions are satisfactory. She has a job? The fuck? Things <laughs> Wait, what the fuck? I thought she was just, you know, like a wandering traveler type of deal. Just go to day with day bases, just like, alright, yep, go ahead, go hold this way, yep, everything's just fine. The fuck? Uh <sighs> Phil needs to not do anything reckless. Ba da ba da ba ba da ba ba ba. Wow, why am I so tired? Uh, but then again, I was busy all day. <sighs> I will find out what have I done. Uh, like I said, I haven't gone to the new area. I've just been very occupied. I don't know nothing. I see nothing. I know nothing. I spend nothing type of deal. Do, 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 do. By the way, the reason why I'm over here instead of going over there and gliding downwards is because last time I was gliding upwards, uh, I, last time I was gliding like over out of the closest teleport, um, Albedo died. And I had Barbara with me in the team. So, uh, yeah, no. I believe it was Yilan's story. I went from there and I was just gliding. But I actually jumped. Actually, not lied. I jumped and I didn't glide because it put me in a cutscene. So after I finished that section of the story, um, all you hear is Albedo died and because of Barba C6, Albedo came back to life. So, it was nothing, it was nothing in my control, unfortunately. Shenhua and Ganyu have ever seen her in this form before. Uh, uh, wait, where did she go? Uh, she's back there. She didn't come with us. Why are you just standing there, Cloud Retainer? Quietly now. One shall stay here. You two can go and meet with her. Wait, what? Uh, but why? Isn't it better if we all go together? That's weird. Wait, what? Hm. If one were to proudly proclaim one's presence, Ganyu would surely profess herself otherwise unoccupied and drop everything to attend to one's visit. One fears that would only result in her staying up all night to make up for lost time. Mm. One does not wish to trouble her. Conversing vicariously via you two shall suffice. Do remember to inquire as to her recent well-being. Again, do not mention one's presence here. Oh no, Mia. Sounds like you're shy, all right. Fair enough. Makes sense. All right, then. We'll just pass on your regards. Cloud retainer? Okie dokie. <laughs> no, wait, why is she hiding? Busted. Well, Paimon, you're always loud. Is that lady... Someone you know, Ms. Ganyu. She is indeed. I'm sorry, Huixin, but could we delay the upcoming meeting for a little bit? I believe my schedule today is quite full. Although, perhaps I could move some work to later in the evening. Oh, not to worry, Ms. Ganyu. I'll make the necessary <laughs> arrangements right away. She knows her baby good. Oh. I just I can't get that out of my head. Seeing the baby Ganyu. That was it was just so cute. It's just little Ganyu. Thank you, Wei Little baby Ganyu. Child, little kitty little Ganyu. We must protect the little babies. 
The little puppies. Been a while, can you? Greetings. What brings you here today? And Cloud Retainer, too. It's been quite some time since I last saw you in this form. Oh? You are quite mistaken. One is not acquainted with this Cloud Retainer. <laughs> oh, no. Is simply a mere mortal passerby. <laughs> uh huh. What's your name, huh? huh? <laughs> God, you're God, you saw right through her. <clears throat> that was but a simple test. <laughs> one did not expect you to be able to recognize one so easily, especially after so many years of only seeing one's other form. I mean, you could have just given her a fake name and then just test her for more. Ganyu looks totally bewildered. She's thinking, why wouldn't I recognize you? I used to see you every day. How bad do you think my memory is? Damn. But recognizing you is, uh, my responsibility as your disciple. Mmm, damn. <laughs> An apt observation. One was simply passing by while attending to some important business. One thought it would only be fitting to pay you a visit while in the area. I don't, I don't know about that, Chief. I don't know about it. Wait, Paima wasn't aware of any important... Oh, uh... Damn. You know, if she gave you the attitude with the hand on her hip, would you also, like, you know, shut everything down that you say? Cloud Retainer's right! We've still got something super important to do so we can't stay here for too long today <laughs> mm. one does not believe this bullshit oh is that so but it's been so long since we last saw each other um, one simply desired to see you and had no intention of interrupting your work a quick conversation should suffice for today a more involved reunion should wait until you find yourself less occupied Oh God! What the hell I would I? I don't know. Would you? The bird. Oh, the bird. While one acknowledges the amount of work that you have to deal with every day, one must also remind you to rest. Though adepti blood flows through your veins, excessive exhaustion will still cause grave harm to your body. Hmm. Hmm. Ah, it still makes one nostalgic to see you as you are now, respected and independent. When you were young, you oft begged one to cuddle you to sleep when you suffered from nightmares. <laughs> no! C Cloud Retainer! Stop. No! She's blushing! If you insist, no. you are running short on time regardless, so one will refrain from going into each and every story. Oh my Why don't god. You continue your conversation. One shall simply stand by and listen. Just like every mother ready to publicly embarrass your ass out there just be like, "Oh, remember that time that you we couldn't find your diaper so you went out with just your butt hanging out and you're just like, "Man, no." Wow. You've been to so many new places since the last time we spoke. If you ever need anything, Please, just come find me at UI High Pavilion. Hmm. We'll, we'll, we'll try, but I don't think that'll be the case. Also, forgive me for my presumptuousness, Cloud Retainer. But if you plan to continue appearing in this form, don't you think it'd be helpful to adopt a human name? Hmm? Not wrong. Two mothers. I don't know. I don't know. They like, especially when they take a picture and you're just... Like, possibly naked, you're just like, Why do you have this picture of me? Why can't you just take a proper picture? They're just like, I don't know, I think it's cute! And it's not the same. A human name? Huh. You raise a valid point. Considering the sheer extent of one's renown, Cloud Retainer is surely too recognizable. You really think so? I, not that you're I did not mean to drop that on my damn keyboard, sorry. Hmm? Huh. You presume to know the extent of one's illustrious achievements. 
One would hardly think such a thing to be possible. Huh. Nevertheless, Ganyu's advice cannot be ignored. From this point on, when in public occasions, be sure to refer to one as Shenyun. Okay. And it's also the reason why I was kind of avoiding the same name, because I know I'm going to butcher that. Shenyun? Uh, why? Uh, I assume that's a reference to the full record of Pristine Pavilion. Oh. An adeptus of years past would rise with the clouds and rest with the moon. They were enlightened and wise, free and unfettered. The writer referenced Master's name to describe her carefree and spontaneous nature. Oh. Oh, that sounds super cool! Oh, Paimon feels like only the most powerful of Adepti could rise with the clouds and rest with the moon. Actually, those lines were originally written to describe Cloud Retainer herself. Mmm, wait, what? Huh? Wait, so you're really that powerful? Oh, okay. And what of it? Did you truly take one to be nothing more than a bird of bigger than average size? Mm, um, I guess it depends on who you're asking. Uh, not exactly. Hmm. Paimon looked away from embarrassment. That totally. That's totally what Paimon had in mind. To be fair, Cloud Retainer rarely speaks of her past accomplishments. The tales of her past can only be found in ancient texts. I mean, that's good to know, to be it honest. It is said that once, a long, long time ago, there was a severe drought in Liyue. Left with no choice, many people left their homes, while others spent day and night praying to the Adepti. And did they ever come true? Although I did not live through such tragedy, simply reading about it is enough to gain a visceral understanding of all the pain and desperation during that time. On top of the drought, a noxious gas also began to spread through the land. If not for Cloud oh. Retainer's efforts, much of Liyue would be nothing more than a barren wasteland today. Wait, she's responsible for making the world green? The books had this to say about what happened. Upon arrival, the Adeptus borrowed the wind to retain the clouds. Immediately, the clouds gathered together, and abundant rain burst forth from the heavens. Drought and plague were both driven away, and the people were saved. Um. As funny as it be with carbon dioxide, <laughs> I mean, uh, probably, but I don't know. Maybe some magic. That's incredible. It's always with the Delulu. Mortal records add embellishments to dramatize past events. One did merely what one ought, and even if one had not interceded, the other adept I would surely have stepped in to help. Mm, did they? Even so, you stopped an entire drought. Can you really control the weather like the book said? Uh, oh, Paimon suddenly has a lot more respect for you. Uh, so uh, how laughable. Wait, what the fuck? A name is but a simple label. Do my space bar just literally get stuck? Through the world. Why would one be offended by such a trivial matter? <laughs> That's a relief. Give me one second. In that case, Paimon will continue to call you whatever feels right in the moment.
All right, there we go. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Uh, okay. I had something pop up for a second. <laughs> Just me out of correct. Almost put down keep. <laughs> if only. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, there we go. Ah. Uh... Well, that is quite enough ancient history for now. Ganyu, have you heard from Shetta? Mm. I also heard that she procured a job recently. Have you any thoughts on her workplace? And what, pray tell, of her monthly remuneration? Moreover, does she find herself overly inundated with work? Is she allowed time off during Lantern Rite? Wait, hold on. Is it messing up? Let me, let me check. One, one moment. It's going to sound very quiet. Okay, hopefully this time it'll fix itself. Because I didn't mean to double click or anything. Look at the space bar over here. I just always had the space bar just in case so I could go on dialogue. Is a lot of questions. There is no cause for concern, Cloud Retainer. Okay, no, nope. that little small heck of thing, that's just the game personally. itself, to be honest. One Min Restaurant's business has been booming recently. So, with Chef Mao being swamped with customers, and Shanling still off and out in search of new recipes, I introduced Shenha to staff the restaurant. <laughs> Wait, what? Um, <laughs> I hope she's not the waitress. I it has been a lot. <laughs> most excellent indeed. One has had the pleasure of being introduced to that family. Xiangling is kind, <laughs> oh. while her father is loyal and reliable. One has no cause to believe that they will make <sighs> Shenha's work difficult. <laughs> wait, wait, I was kidding. <sighs> no. <laughs> now it is almost time to partake in the vittles of noon. One shall visit Wanmin restaurant in person and see how Shenhe is doing. Huh? <laughs> no, but didn't no. you just say that you had something important to do? No, no, I want to go. Uh, can that wait until after we've eaten? I mean, you you can never go wrong with a restaurant like that, to be you honest. You may return to your work on you. <laughs> oh, one no. shall see to this matter on one's own. There will be many an occasion to dine together in the future. One is certain the opportunity shall present itself most readily. No way! Of no course, way! Please no. Take care. Traveler, Paimon, I'll see you some other time. Please hold on, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> I mean, okay. It'd be really cool. Oh my god! It'd be really cool if it's just you like important business to attend to. Then I realized that you were just looking to cut the conversation short and not take too much of Ganyu's time. Is Paimon right? No. In fact, mm. it was not an excuse. One is indeed visiting Liyue Harbor for an important purpose. No. The moment is not yet no. upon us. Still, the truth will be revealed to you in time. Oh god, like, okay, I would understand, like, collecting, you know, ingredients or something like that. I understand that, but, like... Because we just heard that cool story about her powers? Oh, wait, 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 I see her over there! <laughs> god, I wish we were in Samara, I would love to read her mind! Oh my god. <laughs> You get what I'm saying, right? Uh-oh. Yeah, how can I not? Not even fine food is enough to be <gasps> in the presence of a fine lady, right? <laughs> no! Oh, I'm far more interested in getting her details than ordering any dishes. Bro! How about you ask her? <laughs> no! 
listen, man. Listen. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> bro. Bro. <laughs> Yo, I got so many people that be like, she ain't good enough for you. <laughs> Bro, man, she lift the jade chamber. Can you lift? Can you lift to impress her? You can't even lift her. Good luck with that shit. You do it. <laughs> They're actually calling us out. <laughs> Bro, listen. She got the red threads type of deal. She's holding back. I don't think you can, I don't think any of those two are going to understand. They can't handle her. No, no, no. Yes, yes. She's coming. <laughs> What's worse is that. <laughs> oh my God. They don't understand. <laughs> what can I get for you today? Oh, man. Oh, no, they uh, won't. Greetings, miss. Uh, I was just wondering uh, if you'd be willing to... Uh... <sighs> Bro, no. What would you like to order? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. Uh, two servings of more meat to go. Oh, good chat. Bye. <laughs> She's so... Like, she's so forward and blunt. She's strong. She's way too strong. That's what I'm saying. She can't. <laughs> Like she's not gonna be like, oh hi sweetie, what would you like? What would you like for um a lovely over here at this restaurant? Like she's not gonna sweet talk. She's not gonna be like, oh what can I get for you? Nothing like that. She will be very forward. What can I get for you? Like just just done. <laughs> like, like I said, she's too gorgeous. Good luck. <laughs> Why is this issue though? Yeah, good luck. Welcome. It's been a while. May I take your order? See, the, the, that's that's like a proper greeting right there. May I take your order, you know? But like... <laughs> good luck! Don't welcome us as guests and greet us as old friends in the same line. It's weird! <laughs> Ma'am! It's been a while, Shana. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. It's not... And this is? Bro, but then again... <laughs> Uh, no, honestly, I probably would have done the same. I'd just be like, oh, uh, I, w I would like this if I was ever approached. <laughs> if I was ever approached or like, from, from, from somebody like that, I'd be like, oh. Um. <laughs> I would have to, if I, like, again, I would have to roll a coin. I would have to roll a coin, if I'm being honest. I would have to roll a coin. Because I was, I, I was much, you know, I think, I'm, like, I would, I would have to roll a coin. Because most of my decisions, I would have to roll a coin. It's either, you know, I flip the coin, I say the order, or I say the order. However, there's one order difference. I say the order and then ask for your number. <laughs> I don't have to flip the coin. One side says, okay, ask an order. Don't be weird. Ask an order. Do or die. All right? You will have to die from this point. <laughs> I love Chanel's. Ah. Oh. I saw, I, after seeing their outfit, I'm just like, golly, I want it. But like, I told myself, if it's a five star, I'll do it. Because I don't want to, I'm scared of having like skins of like, what if they add in more skins? Like, okay, it'd be like the jean situation. She has like technically two skins, technically. The alternate outfit, you know, more censored. She looks more proper with it because, you know, she's a Favonius Knights. I could see why some people prefer it. And then she has a swimsuit outfit. Like this little, like, little, it's, it's so adorable, but I would look at it, I'm just like, I don't know which one I want. I don't know which one I want. Uh, this is Miss Shinyun. Huh. Master? Huh? <laughs> Fireball, you should not be surprised. They've seen her for years. Huh. What I'm does getting hiccups. Call ever revealing this form to you before. Oh my god. How were you able to ascertain one's true identity with such ease? <sighs> do or die for me, do or die, do or die for me, do or die. I've trained and lived with Master for more than ten years. Pickups. I would recognize you no matter what form you take. <gasps> you. Aww. Is something the matter, Master? Hardly. Hardly. One simply learned of your employment from your letter and came to check on your well-being. <laughs> and check out the great food, too! Indeed. It's almost lunchtime. My apologies. I'm still on the clock and can't talk for very long. What the fuck is a 
coming from? <laughs> well, if it isn't the traveler in Paimon, are you here for Shenhe? She can touch my. <laughs> no. The lunch rush isn't in yet, Shenhe. So I've got things covered for now. Go ahead, sit down and enjoy some time with your friends. Aww. I'll let you know if things pick up. Thank you, Chef Mao. I wonder if because business was booming that she's out there. Oh yeah, missing poster. Have you seen our brother? He's dead. <laughs> uh. Some goddamn water for the shit. It is just as one expected. The owner of Wanmin Restaurant is indeed a most reasonable and accommodating human. <laughs> I hate my damn hiccups. Last time someone commented about my hiccups, they sound like they said I sound like a damn like squeak toy. Fuck the hip Yes. Unfortunately, yeah. No, I have the hiccups. What's on your head? A dragon. A little dragon. A little dragon in my head. Whenever I feel shame, he also hides. But I also get a different dragon. Damn it, wrong fucking thing again. But he comes with wings and he wants to have the little wings. Oh god, I'm also dying! Ugh. That was a bird? How many birds have you seen in the scaly ass egg? Ma'am! It's a damn Chinese dragon. It's a regular dragon that we actually it might be your dragon. But either way, he has little wings and with him. Out of disrespect. To be honest, though, it kind of makes sense because you're thinking about a chocobo. Um, I mean, it kind of makes sense if you're thinking about the guy with a little chocobo head in there. By the way, Phil, you pull Zinyan in 78 pulls, and the weapon was 55. Are you proud of me? Are you proud of Lefel? Or is it just one of those things that just came home sooner? Slightly sooner? Huh? I know it took a lot of time for Emos, but I'm sorry! I ain't pulling anything this patch, I gotta save for another weapon. I want... I... I kinda want the... I kinda want her, to be honest. I kinda do. Ever since I saw that fan art, that kind of made me tease a little bit. Just a little, just a little bitty. Mm. Still, the work I here entails dealing with thing? quite a varied group of people. Has this been difficult for you, Shenhe? Wait until you finish- Fuck! <sighs> That's true. M maybe, maybe that'll, maybe they'll give me my luck. I always say every time I finish a story, That's where my luck jumps! <sighs> That's where my luck jumps. I just hope they don't announce. I God, I hope they don't fucking announce. No, but later, Risley's coming around the corner. I'm like, no, don't do this. I can see now you're gonna fail the fifty. <sighs> don't say that. Don't say that. You made the little dragon sad above my head. Don't say that. No. No! <laughs> ah. It's been manageable so far. I sometimes run into no. strange people, but I have figured out a way to deal with them. Oh, God. It seems like you've been making progress. So by dealing with them, you mean... You snap their necks! I'm just kidding, though. First, I try to talk sense into them. If that doesn't oh, work, good. I threaten them with violence. At what? this point, they usually decide they are in favor of a civil conversation. <laughs> wait, 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 that's fucked up. <laughs> well, hey, wait a minute. You know, no, look, bye bye. Oh, oh uh, no. how should Paimon put this? A sounds reasonable.
reasonable enough. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a sensible plan. One uh. is gladdened to see you integrate so well into human society. <laughs> Mom's like, proud of you. Like, thank you, sweetie. You're trying your hardest. You, master? How have you oh, my God. I'm proud of you. Simply marvelous. Though hmm. Mount Outsong has scarcely enjoyed your presence recently, one has hardly found the pleasure of one's own company to be lacking. Mm. I see. Just as expected of master. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What she means to say is, she actually misses the two of you a lot! I have missed Master quite a bit, too. Oh, no. Even though work has been busy lately, oh. I've already had a conversation with Chef Mao about taking some time off soon to visit Master. <laughs> like, again, she's just like a grandma. Hey, when are you going to call me? When are you going to have grandchildren type of deal? And you're like, oh, about that. <laughs> about that. Where are my grandchildren? Oh, that type of you deal. Did? Hmm. <clears throat> Do make note of such matters in your letters in the future. There's hardly a need to keep one in suspense. <laughs> Actually, I want to know what does Cloud Retainer does on her off time? <laughs> what do you do? Well, Besides, I'm you know, missing your things. Just like that. Damn. By the way, Master, since you are in Liyue Harbor, have you had the chance to visit Ganyu? Bobbles. Well, bobbles. <laughs> bobbles. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> bobbles. No. <laughs> Shut up. This sounds like my mom. This sounds like my mother. She started doing that. Oh my god, no! I mean, Ganyu and Shinna are nice, but Shinna is a different level. I mean, she she's practically a mother cray, to be honest. Bubbles. No. No. Bubbles. It's your, it's your the dragon. Shut up. No. Bad. Bad. No. Indeed. Fucking terrible. She is similarly no. preoccupied. If she were to say shit there like that, oh no. A few One expects better than this. One expects better than this. Zinian <laughs> sounds like a sassy Chinese woman. Start dra- You're lucky this little guy's above my head. Otherwise, you know, I'd be taking off my damn coat and beating your ass. Don't even start with me. Don't even start! Choosing damn violence already. You told us the story of Cloud Retainer's name. It was amazing. We never knew how powerful she was before. Every single time I'm going to be facing every damn these nuts joke. It's not fair. It's not fair. <laughs> My own business. I see. Hey. In that case, allow me to also share a story about Master's past. Story time. Oh, embarrassed grandmama. Is that a problem, Master? I believe this to be a good topic of conversation. No, not a problem. One was simply caught off guard. But no matter, please proceed. One is most curious to see how much of one's own conversational prowess you possess. <sighs> like dead ass. It's always like the kids that'll be like, you know, they tell a proper story about like their mothers. But when it comes to their mothers telling about their children, it's one of those things where like they just remember all the grudge and all like the whining, the crying, you know, all the like, everything like a mother does to take care of a child. They feel like they hold it against you. They hold it like a grind just to like embarrass the shit out of you in front of your friends type of deal. That's what it feels like. Like, deadass, that's what it feels like. Hello, hi. But it feels like that. Like, all, like, the parents, they remember the dumbest shit that you would do. And then they're just like, I'm gonna embarrass you in front of your fucking friends. Remember all those damn times you just nag and nag. You would bite me when I gave you a little, like, when I took you to the doctor so you could have, like, you know, the cold shot or whatever shit. Hold it against you and then they embarrass you in front of it. Right there. They do it again, Mother Brownies with- Oh no! Now it's Mama's time to be No shit! Rare 4K deleted footage before 4K cameras exist. 
No, oh, it's worse. It's worse. Like as years go by, like you see an older like picture. Worst part is, is that as time goes by for us, we'll have like digital like like pictures and all that. The newer kids are probably gonna have like their pictures all 3D and shit, like a whole like model and everything. And you have like a digital picture. You're just like, oh, I, I remember when little Tommy. Timothy would always do this. For some reason, he had a fondness of dog food. And I'd be like, oh, look at the cutest thing in the world. And you're like, am I? No. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine. Imagine later on. Oh, my fucking God. Master once it's participated worse. in a race against Mooncarver. Oh, God. After Mooncarver lost, it's he worse. insisted that Master's ability to fly gave her a natural edge in such a contest. Oh, wait, what? Wait, what? In response, Master agreed to forego flying in return for being able to use one of her devices in the race. Mooncarver accepted, only to find Master with a brand new device on the day of the contest. <laughs> wow! Huh, what kind of device was it? It was a mechanical vehicle made out of iron. Oh. What was it called again? Oh, and... Electro powered bicycle? Bicycle! Bicycle! I want to ride my bicycle! I'm sorry, it was there. Alright. Oh man. Don't listen to them. There was a bit of. <laughs> oh, you refer to the bicyclical Thunder Flash Mobile. One spent 49 days conceptualizing and crafting it. It need only be infused with adeptal energy. And it can cover thousands of miles in one day. What do I imagine, like... Oh my god. I feel like she'd be the type of person that'll enjoy the shit out of, like, that Legend of Zelda game. The Tears of the Kingdom, where she makes her own contraption all the time. <laughs> she made Mario Kart with bike! Oh my god. I was thinking about, like, 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 uh... Oh god. She practically is part of the future from this point. You know, we have electric scooters. Now we get electric bikes. What else are we missing? Oh, it boggles the mind why Mooncarver ever supposed like to might best we have me in a contest of this universe type of deal. Though he sprinted with all his might, he could barely keep up. <laughs> she probably E.T. the shit out of him as soon as the sun comes up. <laughs> like, oh, like, oh, God. I was gonna say E.T. like flying with the bike instead of, you know, actually herself flying. <sighs> Alas, the one flaw of my mechanism. Lay in its weakness against mountainous terrain. Ah! It mere seconds from victory when it was thrown off course and failed to make it across the final stretch. Truly a most unfortunate turn of events. Anyway, do go on, Shenha. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> wow, the biggest L. Ever. <sighs> Unfortunately, I didn't protect, you know, terrain. She, she did not build the mountain bike. That's the sad part. She did not build the right wheels for that shit. Oh my god. <sighs> One must play Mario Kart to understand. We're going off course. Master, that was the Let's end do our of glide. that story. Is that so? Yeah. Well, with you gone, one has seldom felt the desire to call upon those old fossils for another contest. Mm. What is a race without spectators, after all? <laughs> <laughs> Have you been lonely, Master? She's always been lonely. That's why I'm just like, she's like every like mother or grandma. They always be like, yo, man, when you come and visit, where are my grandchildren? Or type of deal. Oh, God, one must understand the pain of getting blue shells. <laughs> just vote just before reaching the finish line? Dead ass? Anytime. Anytime I find out anyone. Any one of the little shits, any one of you little shits ever fucking blue shell me? I go in. Actually, you know what? I do this all the time. I do this all the time. Any time that like I see a blue shell, I go in reverse. I go in reverse and made sure whoever was second or third place, you're going down with me. If I'm taking last place, you're going down with me. Alright, it's either I make it to the finish line, or you're going down with me. I've done it. Dozens of times. The fail ratio to that shit is like 
All right? I'm that mad petty. I'm that mad fucking petty. I hold bananas so nobody can red shell me. All right? You gotta understand. If I go down, I'm taking y'all with me. <laughs> I'm taking y'all with me. Like the fucking bomb. Oh my god, I wait for like a little sweet spot thinking, oh, you see the little two like double items? I wait for that fucking shit. I hit a banana on purpose just so I drop the fucking bombs. You don't understand. I'm that mad petty about that. Where, where she won't. I will. I fucking will. If I'm taking dead last place, I'm fucking all of y'all, alright? They better not give me the squid thinking that's just minor damage. The only way to play the challenge. <laughs> the challenges. Oh man, because I'm just that petty about it. I would need a I, I should I would need a capture card if I were to ever like stream that to be honest. I should have told unfortunately. Otherwise I would have streamed um Zelda, Legend of Zelda uh Oh my god. What is the first one? Uh Breath of the Wild? I I have the game and I haven't played it. Pokemon Arceus, I have not touched it. It's sad. Be a race to see who can screw each other over last place. <laughs> the winner is whoever's last place. <laughs> last place means you fucked everyone over. <laughs> you see first place, like, wait, what about me? I did this race correctly. It'll just be random people or just like, fuck you, all right? <laughs> We're looking for whoever fucks anyone the most. <laughs> whoever's last place would win in that case. Exactly! Whoever's last place, that means you're the ultimate fucking troll. <laughs> Lonely. Huh. Oh my god. At one's age, entire human generations oh my god. come and go in the blink of an eye. Fucking Even double dash is where everyone's all glory. Can spend several days and nights. <sighs> oh my god. That reminds me, I forgot to mention description is on is actually on Switch? Oh. <sighs> now that's how you play on the go. If only it was on mobile, then it's all over. All over there. It is the most foreign sentiment. The mere mention of it is preposterous. <sighs> I think I still have double dash. I need to find it out. Mm -hmm. What is the reason for that look upon your face? Oh, bubbles you pulled. No, no. It's nothing. It's just... <laughs> well, Paimon gained a lot of respect for you after listening to that story of you summoning the rain and everything. But all it took was a few words out of your mouth, and it's like you're back to being that illuminated bird again. <laughs> it wasn't standard venerable. Ah, yeah, okay. Oh, God. Actually, when it comes to shells, there's only, like, one shell that always... Actually, I know, like I said before, the red shell doesn't traumatize me. The blue shell, I'm petty. But as soon as I see the green fucking shells... Or that triple share the shells? Oh my god. That bothers the shit out of me. That bothers the shit out of me, if anything. Like, if I see that little tr like shells twirling around your ass. Oh my fucking god. That's where I start sweating. That's where I actually start sweating. I'm just like, oh, I've been through this. I've been there. I've done that. I remember just sniping my friends with green shells. Exactly! You can snipe bastards with the green shells. You can snipe bastards with those things. I was mostly lucky, but it wasn't quite yet. <laughs> exactly! That's why I fear that! Like, again, it just requires aim. If you bounce it... Oh my god. Or bounce the I have not played the newest Mario Kart, so I haven't tried all the other shells, unfortunately. I should. I should. I think I have a copy of it. I think I have a copy for the Switch one. But, like... Oh my fucking god. <gasps> if you play Mario Kart, I'm doing that too. Fuck you! Fuck you! I'm, nah! Nah! You would have to catch me! You would have to catch me! Right? All you do is gonna catch nothing but air! Darling, hombre! Hijuele! Nah! Nah! I would need to get, like I said, I would need to get a capture card if that was possible, first of all. I'd be petty enough to do it. That's the worst part! I'd be, I'd be mad, but I also would respect it, to be honest. <laughs> I would be like, you petty little bitch. Of course you would. Of course you fucking would. 
But I can't be mad because I would have done the same. Climate's just a little oh bit confused. God. Which one of the two is the real cloud retainer? Paimon. Huh? To me, they are both master. One is the master that's widely revered by the people, while the other is the master that I respect and adore. Huh. One finds oneself exalted yet again with sweet words of praise and flattery of a most extravagant nature. You chose to exalt one with your words, yet you refuse to grace Mount Outsong with your presence for any extended period of time. Wow! I would almost question the sincerity of your estimations. This bitch would have thrown a blue shell out of pettiness. This is not to say that your words paint an inaccurate picture. One has always lived by a single ideal. Eschew all action and abide by no rule. One does as one pleases and speaks as one pleases. Others may critique or praise as they see fit. Yet one places little weight in such judgment. Jesus Christ. Like, damn. Cloud Retainer, calm the fuck down. No one can blue shell you if you if you own the blue shell in the first place. <laughs> now that's a strat, honestly. That's actually a strat. <laughs> she got like this right here. Like what the fuck? From her disciple, and it's as if her ego was about to burst. She's quiet. What the fuck? This right here. This is why I knew. <laughs> no. Do you you have, have any problem. empty tables? Uh oh. Oh, he's gonna be like, yo, break's over. We need empty tables. Could we get another fish stew? Uh oh, work's picking up. I'm hearing more guests come in. I should get back to work. All right, good luck with the lunchtime rush, huh? <sighs> I'll try to only my best. imagine. Jesus Christ. You just only again. You're just only on your knees just because she's like. One did not visit. Where are you? Oh my god! Can you eat this kind of food, Cloud Retainer? Is the is the food is the is the food to your taste, Cloud Retainer? Ooh. Um. I um. Actually, I need to know. One is fond of all kinds of delicacies and delights Ooh. in a multitude of flavors. Okay, I, I just thought that, you know, it was not your taste or, you know, I thought the spice level was a little too high. The dishes here demonstrate no shortage Ooh. of culinary skill. Their unique flavor profile has left one more than satisfied. In fact, one has been struck by quite the fit of inspiration. One has already begun to conceptualize the next generation of supreme cuisine machines. I know her cooking is great, but <laughs> Cloud Retainer, careful. This is the thing that may gun you a little on the thicker side. <laughs> Be careful with that. <laughs> Be careful. Everything's so tasty. A bit too hot at times, but it's still super tasty. God, the spice level is sky, uh, got sky high, but the taste is great. I'm sorry, miss, but our tables are full. Oh, no. I see the no! Bob Ladwell. Shall we try somewhere else, Granny? Oh. But it smells so delightful. Can we really not eat here? My poor legs can't go on for much longer. Damn. Can I just try Shang Ling's cooking when given the opportunity? She must! Well, you could always check with some of the other guests and see if anyone's happy to share a table. Okay, uh, I'll ask around. Excuse me, would you mind letting us share a table with you? There are no empty tables left, so... Ah, well, I might guess it mind. What about you guys? I don't give a fuck. Just do it. <laughs> like, it's not, look, look, yeah, okay, it's just like, we have, like, again, it's just four table. We have, like, you know, plenty of room type of deal. <laughs> I don't mind. As long as you don't mind our chatter. Great. Thanks so much. My name is Shuyu, and this is my granny, Yuendai. Hmm. Granny? Grandmama. Yep. Is there something wrong with that? No, no, but 
just a bit surprised. She looks so young. I mean, my I can I can kind of see it though. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people compliment Granny on her youthful looks, but she's actually but... much older than she appears. Mm. I mean, she's uh, yeah. No, I can see the, I can see the age, but like I don't. Well, I don't know how to feel. Hmm. Mm. I can see it. Like, I can see it. I can see it. Like, no wrinkles. What's your secret? <laughs> like, I can see the little bit, like, a little tiredness right there. Or maybe it's just like, like, crow's feet type of deal. But like, she doesn't look, you know, as old as the other like NPCs we've seen. Granny, why don't you take a seat? Come on, it's not like a stare. Oh God. If <laughs> no. I facelift every year, so I don't know. Oh, have we met before? Mm. No. Oh, I think they have met. Just a faded meeting, then. Please, take a seat. I think they've met before. What would you like to eat, Granny? I can order for you. I want braised earthworms. They always pop up out of the ground after a rainstorm. Uh, um, is she? Are you a bird, ma'am? No, no, not this again. Ma'am? Granny, there's no braised earthworms on the menu. No, sorry, Grandma. I, I mean, I think she's a bird. Braised earthworms? Well, that sounds weird. Do Paimon! Do actually eat that? Paimon, I don't want to hear it from you. Sugar and slime. Sugar and slime. Sugar and slime. If you think that's weird, then you know the burnt brownie things is probably just as weird. I don't want to hear that. Right, that's what Paimon was thinking too. <laughs> Sugar and slime, Paimon. Sugar and slime. Okay. Sugar and slime actually sounds good. No! But here's the thing! You don't know where the slimes has been! That's why I'm just like, what if it smells like, you know, like, like lake water or like swampy water? I don't know. Like, the water may look clear, but like, you don't know where it's been! You don't know where that slime has been! No! Bad! I don't care, it's slime. No! You don't know where it's been! Bad! I... need any help? Oh my god, you don't know where those slimes have been! That's the thing! Help? Oh, do you mean with Granny? Yeah, Grandma, would you like some herbs? Thanks, that's nice of you to offer. Granny has pretty bad dementia, so her memory's getting worse all the time. Oh my god. She's always saying things that sound kind of confusing. Just think of it as Jello's. Jello is more stiff? It's like flan. Like, it has stiffness, okay? I don't know where you've been. Hey! What the fuck you mean? I would think the texture of slime will be red. But here's the thing, like, okay, I would understand. I would understand if it was like like jello like gelatin. It makes sense. Okay, it makes sense. It would make more sense. However, we don't know if it's just like, you know, just it's just it's just a little like slime-ish thing. I, like a like a jelly slime type of deal. That's well, every time I think about slime, I think about like a jelly slime. You know, like if you ever like oh look. Look, just just think about the idea of just like a jelly slime, just like a, like a like a like a like it looks like whenever I think of slime, I think about like a dog drool type of slime, and I'm just like no, just just get it away, no no no, no. Actually, uh -uh, the no. Been ever since I was little. Uh, it's kind of lately, but I even have to remind her who I am every morning. Like I would have to look at it. I have to look at it. I, I would have to touch it. Maybe it's one of those. I would have to touch it to understand. Oh my god. Oh, that's the worst thing to have. Rest in peace. My grandma. No. Great grandmother. No. Oh god. Okay. Let me explain. There's like a... Oh god. Let me explain. Let me explain a little bit why I just don't like it. Okay. So, has anyone ever eaten cactus before? Like, okay, supposedly it's good for you. At least my, at least my, uh, past grandma recipes. Uh, grandma would say this, like, oh, it's actually good for you. you add, like, the more slimy that texture is, like, you just, again, 
like uh, like it was just very slimy and I just felt like it, this was not what I wanted at all like no if you ever eat that that's what I'm fearing of like how like slimes and genshin would feel I'm just like no 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 if I did not like you take off the damn like needles you take off those things you don't eat it with him you take it off you extract it Ugh, you cut those shits in pieces oh my god no is where you can actually have it more watered down if it's too slimy for you but like mm, no no no, I don't, I don't like that slime texture. I still remember. I still remember the texture. One day when I'm, one day, you know, whenever I decide just to buy cactus, maybe my taste bud for has changed. Maybe. But just, I just remember the, the texture and I just don't like it. Ugh. Oh God, I just don't like the texture at all. Oh God. <laughs> yeah, you're really not a cat. You don't want to be a camel. It's just I don't like it. Just no, no. <laughs> and I'm talking like the cactus I'm talking about is like the leaf ones, like the leaf ones that normally people get. Like, no, it's like the most common thing that you would see a lot. Oh my god. Ugh, no. Like large petal, leaf appearance type of cactus. Daddy young. It's just me and Granny now. That's sad. Oh, um, uh, but it's okay. Don't feel bad. Well, my Granny uncles. loves me a lot, and I love her a lot too. Sure, it's hard at times, but you just gotta make the best of the life you've got. Are you sure you don't have an animal vision somewhere in your pocket? Wow, you're really or pyro. Age, kid. <laughs> you're too kind. And me? Oh, what about me? <laughs> <laughs> you're tough too, Granny. Plus, you're really gentle, and you're always there for me. Oh, God. I don't know how camels can do this. <sighs> I don't know how Diablos can eat those shits either with the toothpick. Good luck with that. Yes, and it's hardly as if I forget everything. I still remember the important things. Uh... Wait. What was that really important thing again? Worms are not on the menu? Ah, I remember now. It was a dream. I had a dream where everything was dark. Someone was standing in front of me. She told me to come and find her, and that once I'd found her, I would be free. Huh? Hmm. That sounds super important. But how come you've never told me about it before? Because it was a dream, child. A dream! It was just a dream, so I forgot about it. But I'm in a good mood now, and somehow I remembered it again. Ah, <laughs> oh, you know, I believe I've had this dream a great many times. But just how many times have I had it? Now that, I do not remember. Wait, so you have a reoccurring dream where someone's talking to you? That sounds Ooh. spooky. <gasps> Does that mean you're possessed? We could slap Paimon, right? I, I, I love Paimon. I do, Paimon, I love you. But like, you know, the fish are looking a little hungry. Just, just, Unlikely. They look a little hungry. Her eyes are clear and her breathing remains calm and level. One sees no signs of possession. Thank you. Are you sure? Paimon, you're asking an adeptus. Who do you take me for? Is one not an adeptus? <laughs> <laughs> Am I not an expert? <laughs> <laughs> See, whenever I say it, Baron naturally looks at me like I'm crazy. No one's gonna question the shit that I do. Huh, you're right. Paimon almost forgot you're the expert. In that case, do you still remember what the person in your dreams looked like, Granny? Oh, then again, I remember that trippy, weird shit of Samira. Not anymore. Dream. Although, I have a sense that she looked rather like me. But not as I am now. My younger self. <laughs> a younger version of Granny? 
This is just getting weirder and weirder. What is going on here? Me over here waiting for Madame Ping still. As one said, fate must have brought us together. You may leave this situation to me. Are you sure? Um, so what are your names? Paimon's Paima. I am Phil. Just Shen Yu is fine. Thank you all so much for offering to help. But first, I'm sorry for asking, but, um, how do you want us to pay you back? Stories? Oh, we don't need any payment for this. Yeah, I have. I've, I have enough more. Uh, more. No! No! Bad. No bubbles. No. We're just curious about this. We're just curious about your situation and want to help if we can. Thank you so much. <laughs> Do you think we can call Baizu for this? You're Help out this granny. I don't know. Man. All we have to go off is that dream. Where do we start? Dream again? That is elementary. Since her dreams portray her younger self, then we shall retrace the steps of her youth. Once we have revisited those places, her memories will likely return. How much more their pain, or how much more I have? Hmm. Sounds like a plan. One does not so really, wish to answer do this. Do you remember which places you went to when you were young? Why, of course I do. The heavens above, the earth below, the wispy clouds, and the emerald mountain streams. Um, are these like other locations? Okay, taking that as a no. Uh, cloud retainer, you know something about that? I might have an idea. Me? Once when I was really little, my dad told me that Granny used to be a martial artist heroine who saved loads of people from a disaster. I have enough. I have enough Mora. If it's true, then maybe the rules. It hasn't are gone up. Books or something. But it hasn't gone down enough. A martial arts oh, heroine? Hmm. Oh, Shinto knows tons about Liwei's chivalric traditions. If anyone knows about the heroes of the past, it's him. Let's go find him at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Books. Are you leaving already? But I'm still hungry. <laughs> hey, Miles, how's it going? One has heard this before. We had one must all the time. One must stay so fucking quiet. One is one may get sick of your shit. I'll go order some food, Granny. I was gonna say. There's nothing on the menu. You one may has on. an appetite. I'll just get a few different things. Uh, one may wish to know this. It seems we must part ways for now. The Traveler and Paimon are bound for the Feiyun Commerce Guild, while Yuendai and Shuyu shall remain here and partake of their lunch. As for myself, I have matters to discuss with Streetward Rambler. Hmm? Streetward Rambler? Oh, you mean Madame Ping! <gasps> One misses Madame Ping! Precisely. When are we gonna have playable Madame Ping? Once you are ready. One, 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 one desires Madame Ping. Oh my god, just imagine. Next time, Leeway character 5 star. Madam Ping's playable! Oh, fuck. Oh no. One must find bookworm. One must do things like this. One does not know anymore. One may find out! Hold on! One may forgot to collect primos. And now I have little more. One may expose. If we covered the four, we covered the one. Wait! Did I get more? Wait. Did I get more Mora? Yara, I didn't do nothing! I did nothing! I did nothing, I know nothing, I'm innocent, okay? I'm innocent, alright? One wants to keep their sanity intact. Wait, did I get more Mora? I thought I spent- wait. Wasn't it last week that I had like 29 mil Mora? Where the fuck did the rest come from? <laughs> it's much worse that I don't remember where the rest came from. Uh, you know, Lefil does Lefil things. 
Or oh, I did nothing wrong. Why are, you, why are you doing the dot dot? It's always either... Whenever you do the dot dot, I either feel like the disappointment or just the idea of confusion. I don't know what is with or the other. One may find out that there is bookworm. But not edible worm, unfortunately. <laughs> huh. It's you two. What brings you here? If it is doing the fuck what? <laughs> Worth it. What do you mean? What do you mean? What the fuck you mean? I'm the more. Would you say you're more angry? Yeah! Wait, wasn't it last time I streamed? That I had like 29 mil more? Let me see. Hold on. One may find out. Give me a second. One may now know the answers. Let me look. Oh, last Genshin stream. Last Genshin stream. Last Genshin stream. Last Genshin stream. ZQ is voiced by... No, not... Do I look like a simpleton to you to get bamboozled like that? No, don't answer that. All right, don't don't answer that. That's not what I mean. Whenever I say that, hold on. Okay, hold on. Wait. Give me one second. One may have answers. One may tell you the fuck off. Hold on. Give me a second. How much more did I had last time? I I I, I could have sworn. Dead ass. I could have sworn. Was last time I stream all in Asia? Pure Asia? It actually makes more sense to be honest. Oh my god, one must know. One must find out. Give me a second. Blee blah bloop. I okay. Pass fail, show me the damn Mora account. What is wrong with you? Show me how much more you had. God damn it, Falania, what the fuck you had? Oh my god. So I got new the new what? Oh, I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. I'm coherently encouraging to build your. I know the burb! The burb! I want burb, but like, I also want to save my primo gems. Because primo gems are sacred! Hold on. How much more did I have last time? It's honestly pissing me off. How much more did I actually genuinely had? I leveled some artifacts too. Uh come on, come on, show me, show me, show me. Uh where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Um God damn it. Watching my own bond is like you're taking the shit out of me because I'm trying to find the answer. How much did I had last time? How much, how much did I have last time? <laughs> Is it so much to ask? How much more did I had last time? Oh my god. I, I'm actually looking back at my old vault just to so find out how much more I had before. I could have sworn it went down to like 28 or 29. Like dead ass. I'm pretty sure it went that much low-ish. Um... Where is the more account? Ah! Okay, I look at my inventory. I look in my inventory somewhere around the lines. Boop, boop, boop. <sighs> Spawn the shit out of me. I really want to know how much more I had. Why is it so hard to find out? I think I have to be told and then or asked, then I find out. I think it was 28 more. I think it's 28 mil that I had last time. And I don't know what's making it go up. I think I was pretty close to making like 40 mil more. I know someone has way more and more than I do, but they don't, you know, they don't grind. Okay, let me see. Found it! And. No, no, it's been 34 for. It's actually been 34 more. Mil more. Even last time I streamed on this account. But even last like month, it was like twenty eight mil mora, and that's our that's the lowest I can remember. That's the lowest I can remember. I just looked back. I found the results. <laughs> I think I still got more mil mora. Still got more. Still got more mora. <sighs> that's not a whole lot of information to go off of. 
I don't know if I can say for sure. Uh, anything useful and appreciate it. I can't pinpoint her identity mm. from your description alone. But considering her age, I am reminded of a nameless heroine who's been featured in various chivalric novels. I done nothing wrong. Nameless heroine? That's right. The novels often speak of a great drought from 50 years ago. As the people suffered, a nameless heroine appeared and began to clear away evil spirits and bandit camps. The people idolized her, but never learned her name. All they knew was that she always acted alone. Later, though, she supposedly oh. fell in love with a similarly noble-minded exorcist from Mount Tianhang. They were well-matched in more ways than one, often fighting together as a fearsome duo of otherworldly strength. And then they fell in love. After the drought ended, oh. the heroine and the exorcist left the public eye and began living a reclusive life in the mountains. All that remained were tales of her incredible accomplishments. Aww. The way this nameless heroine faded from fame into obscurity later in life is not too dissimilar from Miss Yuendai. I hope that's somewhat helpful. Hmm? Thanks a lot, Shinto. We knew it'd be worth talking to you. It's nothing at all. Just something I came across while reading. I did do a bit of extra research on her story, but it was just out of personal curiosity. What you find out? What you find well, out? Paimon still thinks that's super cool. Oh, wait. Chincho, if you've read up on her, do you know of any places often associated with her? Oops. Let me think. In the novels, the nameless heroine always appeared near one of three places. Wangshu Inn, the area just north of Jue Yun Karst, and Ching Yun Peak. Um... Perhaps the real life heroine who inspired the character was also often seen near those three places. That would explain why those locations appear in the various novels written about her. Thank you! I can't wait for your help to. You. <laughs> You're welcome. To be honest, I found some parts of the story confusing when I first came across it. If Miss Yuendai was indeed the original inspiration for the character, she may just be able to help me put the pieces together. Same voice actor with Bennett. At least the English one, though. It's rare for a chivalric hero to fade into obscurity during their lifetime, even after retiring from the public eye. But no one ever saw or heard from the nameless heroine again. There were even rumors that she became extremely ill. Well, I mean, that would kind of suck, to be honest. <laughs> that would be kind of suck. I've never understood why someone would go to such lengths to erase themselves from public memory. It's almost as if she was trying to hide from something. There's probably far more to the story than what's been written. From the evil past! I don't know. Actually, I'm full of shit. I'm actually full of shit about we'll that. We'll be sure to tell you if we manage to uncover the truth. That's a deal. Perhaps. Behind the truth of it all, there lies a story more fantastical than any work of fiction. Paimon feels like we just learned so much from Shincho. A drought, a nameless heroine, a life of seclusion. Uh, wait, why does the story sound super familiar? Oh, right! There's a drought in this story, too! Um, Shincho, are droughts super common in Liyue or something? Mmm. Um, Paimon, did you remember about, you know, that one thing that almost destroyed Liyue Harbor? Well, they used to be. But people have long since developed methods to prevent them. Like by cultivating the soil or digging canals. I can see that being an example. So while droughts do happen from time to time, they are rarely regarded as true disasters. The drought 50 years ago is probably one of the worst we've had in the last several centuries. Mm. The crops withered, the streams ran dry, and the monsters in the mountains became rabid and agitated. Countless caravans were attacked, and people who lost their homes came together to form bandit groups. What started as a natural disaster soon became a human tragedy as well. Ah, yeah, yeah, that, that, that'll, that'll do it. That, that'll definitely do it. Unfortunately, that, that'll, that'll definitely do it. Ugh. That sounds awful. 
Yeah, I'll do it all right. Yeah. God damn it, game audio. And that's exactly why the nameless heroine was so beloved. She must have been someone of true integrity to do so much for the people while asking nothing in return. Mm, that's what I was worried about. Uh, like, oh, hey, here's the uh, here's the downside to this. I'm uh, pain. Hmm, lovely. Still, as terrible as that drought was, it was nothing compared to the truly calamitous disasters that befell this land in ancient times. They say that back in those days, disasters were both more severe and more common. Only the strongest of Adepti could hope to dispel the ruin and devastation. Do you have any other questions? We're good for now. We're just going to head back and meet up with Miss Yanyan and the others again. Paimon hopes that Granny Yuendai will be able to remember more of her past. She used to be a great hero who saved many people. So sad that she can't recall any of it. Oh, I mean, I mean that's kind of happened to other characters. <laughs> Stolf God was definitely one of them. Anyway, Aww. we'll be off now. See you some other time, Xingqiu. Thank you so much for your help. Ah, <sighs> oh, there's so many heroes. It's no problem at all. Safe it's... travels. So many heroes that die tragically. Stolf God. The, the the other like the other um Oh my god. What Oh uh, no, I can't remember his name! No, wait, 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 wait. The <sighs> One of one of those one of those things oh my god, why why is my brain not working today? Oh my god. Like, the thing that Xiao is, like, that guy stayed with him till the end with the whole chasm of it. Why can't I remember I their names? The I'm upset with myself. I hope it will be of help to you. Ooh. Oh, thank you. That's pretty. <laughs> Straight word for... Ping, what has amused you so? Oh, it's no serious <laughs> matter. I was just... Reminiscing about the last time I saw you in this form. Time has oh wrought God. such change in this world. And yet, you appear just the same as ever. Why can't I remember that fucking name? Why can't I remember what Xiao is? Oh my God. Why can't I remember? Why, little fiend, why can't I remember his name? Oh my, not, I can't remember that. What, what the fuck? Such a little Y. Oh my. Oh, his friends. His friend, or with the the purple one, who stayed at the bottom of the chasm, and ah, tragic fate. Uh, I mean, um, no one like hero not. Mm, this died tragically. That's the thing. Time has little bearing on one's existence, nor has one keenly felt its effects whilst dwelling at Mount Outsong. Nevertheless, Ping. One would like to seek your counsel on a personal matter. I feel like every time we know a character or we know some like story about them, it's always tragic deaths instead of like a normal death. It's always tragedy. Oh, why so formal all of a sudden? I must say, you're making me a little nervous. What is it? Well, the inquiry is as such. Uh oh. A approximately how much more would one need to afford a comfortable life in the harbor? Not unlike the one that you yourself lead. Hmm. Mm. It does not require as much as you may think. Still, do you mean that. I'm looking for a name. Yaksha. I was trying to remember! I, was, I feel bad! I can't remember things! It's funny you mentioned such a thing. <laughs> ah, I'm so upset with myself. I'm so upset with myself. <clears throat> Nothing save for some trivial matters. <sighs> Have you unearthed any useful details? Yeah, yes, that one. I'm so upset with myself. I can't remember. <laughs> Line of the theory. Do not be troubled, young lady. Here, have some tea. 
Push Thank you so much. What do you think, Shuyu? Does it match up with what you know of your granny? Does she know anything about her grandma's past? According to the story, Nima's heroine eventually fell in love with an exorcism out here in Hanhun. Maybe... That's my grandpa. Ooh, what happened to the husband? I don't have many memories of him. But there was this one time, I found a box in her attic full of a bunch of weird sigils. Is it still making... Wait, hold on. Is it still making noise? I could have sworn I fixed that. Hold on. What the fuck? I really don't know what the fuck is making the, the no I'm trying to find it, but I can never find it. The fuck? Broken the Tristan noise. Okay, let me see. I'm gonna let the game play again. I, I keep refreshing it and I don't know what it is. Like, I don't know what it is, genuinely. I think so too. Granny might remember something when she's returned to a familiar place. Broken electric noise? I don't know what it is. What marvelous tea. I can taste the dew's sweetness in this cup. That's so weird. It's as if I was taking a stroll in the mountains. Thoroughly one with nature, and at peace. Is that so? Then please, drink as much as you like. There's no need to hurry. At our age, it's always nice to slow down and take the time to appreciate pleasant conversation among friends. Thank you. Ah, uh, let us rest here for a while okay. then. Okay, since we have the time... Can I ask you something? Sure thing. What would you like to know? Um... I have a secret I want to tell you. Let's go talk over there. I swear, I imagine somebody's just putting a magnet near me. Just like, slowly but surely. Slowly but surely, I'm just gonna be- Ah! What's wrong, Shuyu? Well, I've been kind of meaning to ask ever since we started talking in the restaurant, but are you guys all adepti in disguise? Mm, no, no, maybe? Oh! Uh, about that. Uh, why you say that? Well, you guys just seem super special. Plus, I think I might have heard Miss Shen Yun call herself an adeptus. Hmm, obviously. Oh, must have been a slip of the tongue. Shen Yun, since you were the one who, uh, misspoke, maybe you can explain <laughs> to Shu Yu here what you really meant by that. <laughs> Five on like, oh, well, um, since you're the one that fucked up, um, good luck. <sighs> you're on your own. My grandma. One is indeed an adeptus. Is that of some concern to you? <laughs> hey, good night, Meta. <laughs> Well, I mean, she got nothing. I knew it. Uh, you don't sound surprised at all. You sound disappointed. Well, one time when I was a little kid, <laughs> I saw a pure white illuminated crane. I had this super high oh. fever, and Granny wasn't around. 
I was feeling all icky and gross. But then mm. this snowy white crane flew down from the sky. Oh. She put me on her back and flew me to her cool Adeptus house. <gasps> oh. And fed me some sort of magic potion. When I woke up, I was already back in my bed and my fever was gone. I... I just think it's... Actually, no. She's still, like... Most of her feathers are, like, white. So I could see why she mistaken her state. Even though we see teal colors, most of it is just white feathers, though. I really wanted to thank her, but I was too sleepy to stay awake, so I never got the chance. No, this is a story quest. Actually, this is her... Actually, <laughs> this is actually a story quest. That's what I'm doing. So, I just kind of wanted to ask if maybe... Any of you have ever met an Adeptus like that? A pure white illuminated crane? The only two we've ever met are blue and white and actually? black and brown. I feel like it might be her. Have you ever met one that's pure white, Clementina? Hmm. Perhaps I've never met an Adeptus with such features. One surmises such a description is but Unless a it's grandma. embellishment that oft results from narrative accounts. That's weird. Was it really just a dream then? I... Couldn't it be? Well, even if it was just in my head, it doesn't matter that much anyway. All I really want is to help Granny recover her memories. I'm really grateful for all your help. Leave it to us! Now that we know the three locations, we just need to visit them one by one! Let's go to Wang Shu Inn first! Okay, I'll go get Granny. You find in the quest tab, like every update you would see it. Like... You would see here whenever they post a quest, you would have to open story quest and it will show up here. Oh yeah, that's right, I hope you don't mind spoilers. Technically, technically it's all spoilers since I'm doing like the latest patch. If you wish to depart, depart now. Uh, going all the way over there. I do hear the slight, I do hear the slight, like, static, but I'm wondering if it's literally just, like, Genshin itself. Yeah, this is Wang character story. Wang Shu In. Do you remember this place, Granny? The problem is I see Farz and I see... Is it Gami? Gaming? I, I don't want to say gaming! I don't want to say gaming! It was a different way. Yes. The fish here is very delicious. And if you look out into the distance, you can always spot a bird that's been left behind by its flock. <laughs> I, I know one bird that's always left behind a flock, unfortunately. I believe I used to have a room here. It had a window. Yes, yes, I spent a lot of time looking out that window. Oh, God. Which room was it again? Uh, let me look. Yeah, no, sorry. It's just, it's actually just a character. It's actually a character quest. I'll come back. <sighs> God. I know a bird that doesn't have a flock. He's stubborn as fuck. Very stubborn. Well, like a Tsundere nature, though. Which I get it, Wang Ice Lays. Understanding what she's talking about, but if she's so familiar with this place, that must mean she lived here, right? Wait, huh? Ooh! What the fuck? <laughs> okay, this time it was not me. I didn't say it. I sensed a non-human presence and decided to come take a look. Um, if you look to your right, you can see it. If you're here, then there's likely no trouble afoot. I suppose there's no cause for concern. <laughs> hey, how's your fun? <laughs> I'm not gonna say that's me. It's been a while, Cloud Retainer. I see you have returned to your previous form. You met her in this one before? Well, I don't know why Cloud Retainer's word. You literally are trying to call Yaksha like 20 minutes ago. <laughs> but I didn't say shh! <laughs> 
I'm oh wait. Oh yeah, I did say shall. <laughs> I did say shall. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. All right, there we go. Oh, indeed. No, I did say his name. I, I forgot. Oops. Her in this form on many occasions during the Archon War. Okay, this one that was not me. I heard the static. This was the game actually. I heard the slight static. This was the game. I don't know what the fuck is going on. Oh wow! What was she like during the war? Like it sounds like a little like crackle, like like a little crack a little bit. But this was the game audio. That's weird. What the fuck? Oh wait, let Paimon take a guess. Was it anything? Oh no. Behold, the glory of one's newest invention, the Bang Bang <laughs> Continuous Fire Mechanism. Hands up and surrender, or be prepared to face the full might of the Adepti. <laughs> Fucking little shit. Twice. An impressive imitation. <laughs> <laughs> Hyman knows her all too well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for you forgot to say Even once. So. Cloud Retainer was not always as ostentatious as you describe. You may be unaware, but her talent with Adepti Sigils is just as formidable as her skill in mechanics. I mean, she was the one- wait, was she the one that gave us that sigil? Oh, God. The Archon War reached its peak after Guizhong's death. Uh. The Cloud Retainer who fought beside me in those devastating battles was taciturn and solemn. Only speaking when she had to activate her sigils. A cloud retainer who barely talks? Paimon can't picture it. But what happened after that? If you were so powerful in your human form, why did you decide to take up your bird form again? Mm, she feels free, maybe? Once one had bid farewell to the world of mortals, what use would one still have for such a shape? Mm, you kind of have a... I mean, you kind of have a point... But then again, you know, if I could be an, if I could be a bird, I would probably be a burb. When dwelling between mountain and forest, but also away she from did shut down a lot. And troubles of the mortal world, a mortal form is hardly the most fitting of choices. Yeah, I don't think anyone was the same after, like you know, the salt god was gone. After the war, Cloud Retainer retired to Mount Outsong, only revealing herself to the occasional visitor, and always in her avian form. Oh, you're ready to bird. But where's my wings, huh? I'm, I'm not bird. Although I do believe there was an occasion some 30 odd years ago when she decided to don her human form. I That's a dragon. This of... is a dragon above my head. This is a little dragon. What the fuck? The amount of disrespect, all right? The amount of disrespect. The amount of disrespect. Little dragon, fear him. One believes there is little need to relive bygone matters. Leave the little guy alone. Granny, are you okay? Look, we have Shao. He's shorter than the damn dragon. Uh, back then, at this place, I... We'll leave him alone, right? Perhaps, Perhaps this respect. conversation should end here. I shall take my leave now. What the fuck? Um, why do you do this to me? Bye. Should encounter any trouble? You need only call my name. However, given that you are traveling with Cloud Retainer, I trust you are in good hands. I was shorter than you. I'm still correct height. Alright? I'm still correct height. It's not my fault that he's short. Alright? Everyone! I, I think Granny is following said, is me shorter than you. Pretty sure Shao is shorter than me since I'm correct height. Slowly now. I don't know what the rest mind of. and recount what has been recalled. I see you have Bailu on your head. She's known for Dragon Lady. That's true. Didn't answer the question. I don't know how tall that motherfucker is. I'm more than sure I'm taller than him. Alright? I'm more than sure I'm taller than him. A long time ago, I stayed here to recuperate from my illness. But I'm taller than him. I know for a fact I have to so be taller than him. what Shinto said was true! You did fall ill! Was that why you went into hiding? I... Hmm? Don't remember. I'm very sorry, but... 
but I can't even remember the name of my illness. The only thing I can remember is that it took a great toll on me, and there was no cure for it. I was confined to my room in Wangshu Inn, where I spent many days unconscious. I'd come to every once in a while and stare at the migrating birds outside the window. It was a solemn sight. I remember crying, but I'm not even sure I knew why. One day, I met a traveling merchant. Upon hearing of my illness, he sold me a bottle of soul revitalizing tea pills. Is that a mustache? <laughs> Sorry, that was the first thought. It's like, is that a mustache? It looks like a mustache. I see a stash. Stash -o. He told me that the pills were concocted using adepti blood and could be used to alleviate my symptoms. Sure enough, I made a full recovery. My illness remained dormant for several decades after that. So the dementia you're suffering from now is actually... Wait, but if your illness remained like, dormant what? for several decades, are you saying that what you're going through now is just a relapse of what happened all those years ago? <sighs> and it was all thanks to the pills that you managed to keep the symptoms in check? Uh, Paimon's brain kind of hurts. Do you remember anything else? How long do those pills last? Like, holy shit. I'm sorry, I don't. Uh, oh, if only I wasn't so useless. Oh, no worry, I forget things all the time. Hey, you're not useless. You've done so much It's not old age, I could say that. You grow up, raised me. How could you say that about yourself? Mm, just taking the toll, Grandma. Oh, fret not, dear child. Granny was just a bit frustrated. That's all. I mean, I'd be irritated too. The recovery of a person's memories is a gradual process. Finding pieces of one's past is always superior to not finding anything at all. Let us make haste to the next location. Next location. Next location. Oh, why don't we go to the area north of Dwayun Kars next? Uh, it might be sometime next week they'll give us a there they'll give us the fates. There's really a landmark there, so where should we start? Oh, Paimon's got it. Let's check out the houses in the area first. After all, if she was there for any length of time, then she would have stayed somewhere, right? Oh, Paimon's really got her thinking cap on today. At this rate, we'll recover all of Granny Wendai's memories in no time. We just barely just done a chunk. I'm gonna go two places. Barely a chunk. Oh my god. I'm gonna go all those three areas. Uh, a lot of walking. When they say I'm walking on sunshine, it's a lie. Whoa, what the fuck? Oh. Oh yeah, that happens. It's a very rare chance I ever like spawn on top of an actual like you know, the actual statue. <sighs> Sometimes I'll spawn like around it, near, top of it. Hmm. Whoa! Why are there so many treasure orders here? Fuck them up. Come here. God, I love this character. Gotta love this man. Gotta love this man. <laughs> I love anime. Anything about this place, Granny Wendai? Let me think. Yeah, for a uh, three-year anniversary. Like I've been here before. Oh God. But I don't think I stayed here too long. I might have just rested here briefly before continuing on my way. Got it. That's okay. There are still plenty of other places we can check. Wait a second. If I remember correctly, I believe I brought... Ah, yes. I brought some sweet snacks with me. Better hurry up and remember. I see Go a little shit over there. Some. You need to eat a lot if you want to grow big and strong. When would you pack those things? Damn. Oh, thank you. Then Paimon will help us out. Like, I'm over here wondering, like, when did you pack them? Can't run. Alright, cool, thanks. He was standing there menacingly. 
I saw a problem and I want to get rid of it. Now our problems are solved. If we kill them, we have less of an issue. I can explain! I can explain! I, I can- I can explain! Hold on! Wait, 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 there was a puzzle in there? I can explain. I, I, I can, I can explain. Um, I, 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 I did not know there was a puzzle in there. Okay, I can explain. I'll, 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 I'll come back to that. Okay, hold on. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I can, I can explain. I can explain all about that. Okay. I, I did not know there, there was a puzzle there. Okay. I, I, I forgot some chest. I, I, I'll, I'll come back to it. Okay. I, I swear I'll come back. Um, hmm. Okay. Uh. Don't tell me you made progress. Oh my god, 85%. Oh my god, god look at where did I? I can Please tell me there's no chest there. Please tell me there's no chest. Please, for the love of God, tell me there's no chest there. Why am I missing? Please tell me there's no chest. Oh please tell me for the love of God there's no chest there. I swear to God. Please tell me there's not one. I am getting near the fucking thing, but I could just fly over it and just do this. My god, I fucking suck, don't I? Oh my god. I can, I can, I can explain. I can explain. Kill them, we have no issue. What the? I mean, it's. I'm not wrong. Oh my god. Ow. Oh! Oh! I can explain. I can I can explain. Why don't we take a break over there? Uh, I already got my points. I already got them. This place from the quest. It's I can explain. I can I can explain. Was it the honeymoon, you know, house? Did you remember moved in. something, Granny? I I remember. Show you. This is where your father was born. Your son? It was a moonless night. I had been injured, so your grandpa your was son? supporting me. We fled together with some being in the fog behind us in hot pursuit. Like this is where your son has been? Like that that type of deal? I had oh. exhausted my strength when the labor pains came on. So we took refuge in this house. Your grandpa set up a barrier outside, but neither of us knew if it could hold the monsters back. I remember that night. I remember falling to my knees, reciting a prayer over and over. I alone am the source of this sin. Punish me Damn. as you wish for forsaking my oath. But spare my innocent child. Sin? Oath? Did you do something wrong? Did you break a contract? I don't know. I don't remember. I only remember praying in the darkness with all my strength until the sun finally rose again and the fog cleared out. Yeah, baby. Eventually, the house was filled with the sound of my baby's first cries. That baby was your father. I remember I clutched him tight to my chest and wept tears of joy. It was the first time I'd ever felt such happiness in my life. Aww. My dad? That's the babies. That's, that's, that's labor pain. He was my pride and joy. They were just trying to be and safe. so are you, Shuyu. You're so much like him, and I love you both so much. But you're Aww. always going to be different from me. I... Why? Just what did I do? I don't care what Aww. you might have done, Granny. You'll always be the person I love more than anything. Fuck, don't make a kid cry. It's gonna mess up me. Shit! You're too sweet, Shuyu. I'm lucky to have you with me. 
If not for you, I would not have had the courage to come here to try to remember what I had forgotten. As soon as you see a grandma and like a kid crying, that's gonna mess me up. No. All right. Don't do that. Let's not stand around any longer. There's one place left, yes? Let's go take a look. My bro, that fucks me up. No. If one no. Calls correctly, the next place should be Chinyu Peak. You and I, how fair is your health? I may be a bit slow, but I'll do my best to keep up. I'm sorry to keep everyone Meanwhile, waiting. I'm running. Meanwhile, I'm just I'm like on. running I forward. Carry you to the top. Oh, hey, such wait. Lightness of weight. Wait. All those what am I going to be carried? Old, grow frail in the end, do they not? First, you lose your memory, then your health. Eventually, you end up losing everything. Ah. My only wish is to depart this world with a lucid mind. To free myself of this torment and the burden it places upon others. Fred oh, not. Off. You have my aid in this endeavor. Ah, don't do that. I have to go over there? What about the other three places? Oh, the third place. Is that the third place? Fuck. They can go all the way over there. Like, damn. I got over here run for my life of me. When am I gonna get carried? I'm gonna be carried. Lefeu Lef wants to be carried. I see nothing wrong. Why the fuck are you here? Goddamn seeing that little shit over there. You're gonna drop me off in the fucking air. <laughs> no. no. What do you feel? We carried your ass when you came to hand guards. Oh no. Straight into the depth of the abyss. What did I do? What the fuck did I do? Why are you caught? Why are you doing violence? What did I do with you, Chief? What did I do with you, Chief? What did I do? I did nothing. I'm innocent. I'm innocent. Carried my. I wouldn't say carried. It was mostly like, you know, forced against my will type of deal. Does this place feel familiar to you, Granny Wendy? Do you feel like you remember something now, Mr. Gramps? Let me see. <laughs> I was dragged. <laughs> I don't know what to Strange. Have I lived here before? Take it easy. Ikuna Matata. Forget about Don't actually forget about it. When we were at Wangshu Inn and the abandoned house earlier, Though I couldn't remember everything, I still felt a sense of familiarity. I could easily picture myself in those places. But here, I don't have that feeling. Perhaps I did come here in the past, but it just didn't leave a strong impression on me. But did the stories get it wrong then? Oh, we can't expect them to get everything right. It's folk tales. It's stories. They don't get 100%. Yeah, that's true. But they're also the only thing we have to go off of. Mm-hmm. Paimon was hoping this place would jog Granny Uendai's memory just like the others. I'm sorry to disappoint you two. No. Clearly you didn't. You didn't make me go way over here for no reason. It's all right. We're not going to give up yet. We'll figure something else out. Just you wait. Yeah, we have many ways to make you remember. Thank you. If only I could remember. Huh? That way. What's that mountain? Oh, let me oh. look. Huh? Isn't that Mount Outside? Looks like we've come full circle. Mount Outsong. Mount Outsong. Granny, are you okay? Don't push yourself, Granny. It's okay. If I, you supposedly that shell's like you, you don't whistle. Do something that makes you sad. Or his flute. I don't know. Mount Outsong. I. What am I really? Mount Outsong holds some familiarity to you. 
It does, but I... I can't go back. Hmm. Are you feeling unwell? Oh, My no. My head... It feels all heavy and dizzy. I... Just... What is wrong with me? Cloud... Miss Yanyun, is there anything you can do? Hi, Paimon, this time you messed it up. Let us go to Mount Outsong. But... Fret not, all will be well. You and I, you have already given more than enough to the pursuit of this endeavor. You may leave the rest to me. I've prepared something that can aid you in suppressing the fear in your heart and restoring mm. your lost memories. It currently resides at Mount Outsong. Wait, wait, Billy! When did you do that? Ah, uh, the green jade thing? <laughs> Might have been the day you could never leave anything to chance. All will reveal itself when we arrive. Mm, yeah, of course. I forgot. Speaking rhyme sometimes. Oh, cool! Free taxi! Now, if I actually had, you know, the character, it might actually feel fitting. But instead, I'm walking around like a Gyarados! Going against the wind. I know I did this one, right? No, I had to done this one. I'm pretty sure I had to solve that one. I'm more than sure I solved that one. Oh, don't tell me I didn't solve it. Oh, don't tell me I didn't solve that one. I'm more than sure I did. I'm more than sure I have solved that one. Come on, just tell already. What's this thing you've prepared? A music box? Here, this is it. What? Huh? But isn't what? this the mechanism that you were tinkering with when we first got here? Oh, is it another invention of yours? Precisely. A recent one at that. I am most pleased with the result. I call it the Suspensus Somnium Mechanism. A song music player? It periodically releases a soft breeze, which when paired with a gentle adeptal tune, can help the listener subconsciously relax and even enter a semi-hypnotic state. ASMR? Soothing agitation and anxiety, relieving exhaustion and insomnia, its potential uses are numerous indeed. And of course, it can also aid in the recovery of lost memories. Hmm. So, it sounds like, you know, when somebody finally has eight hours of sleep, and then you remember a lot of shit. <laughs> Six hours? That's barely that's a bare minimum that you can get through the day. Eight hours? Fuck you remember so many things. Oh, what a cool gadget! But if you had it all along, why did you keep it to yourself until just now? Because it was a work in progress. We could have come to Mount Outsong right off the bat and saved time on a lot of floating. Time on you eat like I don't know how much. You you need to float how away. Preposterous. Had you and I not recalled much of her past through her own efforts? the device would have nothing to draw upon. Mm, maybe a tiny bit. We Adepti can only help those who first resolve to help themselves. Had she lacked such determination and strength of character, one would have little to offer in way of assistance. Mm, I guess that's one way to take it. I think she gets it now. Uh, hey, what's that other thing? As previously mentioned, a gentle adeptal tune is required to take full advantage of the mechanism. One secured such a tune See? through streetward. That was, that was not off. Only with her melodies can the mechanism reach its peak power. Oh, Paimon can feel what you mean. Paimon's body feels light as a feather. It's as if she's lying down on a warm patch of grass after a super satisfying meal. Does it work on a Paimon? And you, you went. Ah oh, shit! I skipped over the damn yawn. The mechanism helping you to relax. <sighs> oh, she's gone. <sighs> it appears she has already succumbed to the depths of reverie. Come, join one on this side. We shall give her some time to herself. Wait, is she gonna be sleepy standing up? Hold on, that's gotta be a little bit uncomfortable. The drought is over. But why do you look like you want to cry? Oh, She's dreaming. 
It's nearly run its course. I've never regretted meeting you. Not even for a second. No! Don't show this to the film! Please, no. Oh, no! <laughs> don't do that! Have you forgotten? Oh, what the fuck? This is the world you left behind. One of gentle breeze and morning dew. Perfectly straddled twixt the realms of heaven and earth. Ooh. This is your home. This is where you belong. You should have never left. Oh, the she you was of the past. The me from not that long ago. We oh. should have never. No. She was a pure white crane. Oh. Uh, uh. So that is the truth. No wonder this place is so familiar. I. Granny. Oh no! Don't do this with my heart. Granny, are you okay? Cloud retainer. Hmm. <laughs> She's like wondering when it was when it's about fucking time you remember me. Your memories have returned. Wait, did you just call her by her full name? Does that you already knew each other? Actually, the ship. Yes, I now remember everything. Everything. Granny, please don't cry. I'm here. Oh no, don't do this in my heart. Oh, don't worry, my dear child. Mm. Granny is fine. I'm so sorry, everyone. Mm. You've gone to so much trouble on my behalf. It's all come back to me now. The most important thing that I had forgotten was the truth of what I once was. <sighs> One can sense the guilt that now plagues your conscience. Reclaiming a truth long buried is sure to come with a myriad of complex emotions. No, it's okay. Now that I've remembered, I must face my memories head on. Shu Yu, <sighs> everyone, I cannot thank you enough for all your help. I'm ready to tell you my story, if you're willing to listen. Please, Granny, don't force yourself. What happened in the past doesn't matter. I love you more than anything. Nothing you say can change that. I know, dear child. My feelings for you are exactly the same. It is for this reason that you deserve to know the truth. Some time ago, I made a terrible mistake. One for which I could never atone. I mean, I assume that you... Like, the worst you could do is just literally break you know a contract. Is this the sin that you mentioned in Joyun Karst? What happened? You ran away from home. I don't know. I am, in truth, not a human being. My real form, one that I held for centuries, was that of a wild crane. Like Adeptus? I spent many, many years living on Mount Outsong, bathing in the soft breeze and drinking the sweet dew of the mountains. At some point, I somehow gained wisdom and sentience. The Lord of the Mountain, Cloud Retainer, became aware of my existence and began to share many stories with me. She even passed on the secret of cultivation to me. Mm. Though she never took me on as a formal disciple, I always saw her as my master. Whenever she took out her tools to work on mechanisms or new inventions, I would also stand next to her and watch. I even contemplated completing my training and becoming an adeptus in my own right. I followed her teachings, and time gradually passed us by. Until that fateful day, fifty years ago. Fifty years ago? 
uh, during the drought that struck Lily? That's right. Master regaled me with many stories of her past deeds. From them, I learned how she had saved people from a similar crisis in the past. Deadass, I almost got distracted by that fucking fish over there. Like, the fucking fish over there. See it again, right there! She was the one I looked up to the most. More than anything, I dreamt of becoming an adeptus like her. I wanted to travel the land like she had, relieving suffering wherever I went. Like, wait, 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 wait. Can just anyone become an adeptus like they're training? But I was still far from being a real adeptus. I possessed no ability to take on human form and fit in with the crowd. Once she learned of my desires, Master prepared a special dose of human mimicry potion for me. Oh? She warned me that the potion's effects would only last ten years, and if I were to fail to return to my original form at the end of that time, I would forever forget my past as a crane and become something neither human, beast, nor adeptus. Um, uh, what? Oh, no. So that was the source of your dementia all along. But you never turned back into a crane. Was it because... The fuck? Grandpa? Indeed. I fell in love. Mm -hmm. Though he was human, he had spent his entire life training on Mount Tianhang. When we met, it was not only my first foray into the world below, but his as well. Although clumsy and impulsive as he was, you okay. think he was the real strange bird among the two of us. But still, <laughs> just like me, he cared deeply about the world and wanted more than anything to cleanse Sorry. it of all pain and <laughs> That's suffering. cute! I could not help but fall for him. But my time continued to tick away. Those ten years passed by in a flash. Yet, I did not want to leave his side, so I... Um... I... You didn't want to leave because you were in love. Oh, no. What happened next? I committed an offense. I wanted to stay with him, even if it meant living a life full of pain and suffering. Even if it meant that I would eventually turn into a monstrosity. Ah! I knew I had betrayed Master's hopes. But I was too ashamed to face her. So I wrote her a long letter instead and asked someone to leave it outside her abode. Oh, no. I was convinced I don't think that she, she would, would be not angry, support though. my decision. And I lacked the courage to speak to her face to face. Fuck you, frog. In my shame, I fled and tried to hide from the world. Such that no one would be able to find me again. I could see that little bastard right there over there. But, oh. The nameless heroine hid herself away. But that was only the beginning of my troubles. I began to suffer from a strange illness. My memories became hazy and confused, and I could no longer keep myself awake. I understood that my pain was caused by my refusal to return to the life I was fated to lead. Along with my memories as a crane, I soon forgot the true cause of my suffering as well. I knew only that I had committed a sin. All I could do was pray for forgiveness, even if I had long forgotten what needed to be forgiven. Looking back, I was beyond lucky to have come across that traveling merchant at Wangshu Inn. It was such a fortunate coincidence that we were there at the same time. If it weren't for those soul-revitalizing tea pills, I probably would have... <sighs> Wait. Granny! She was the merchant, huh? Coincidence? Why did I ever... I think but not. I think it was a coincidence. Tea pills concocted using the blood of an adeptus? No. It couldn't be. I feel like it was too obvious considering, you know, getting the blood from an adeptus? You would have to try to kill an adeptus. I don't think I've ever seen a human kill an adeptus before. As far as I'm aware. Master. I don't know if it's possible, is don't it? Don't tell me. Back then, that merchant was actually... That's moi. 
Human custom would dictate the conferral of gifts to be in order when one's progeny is wedded, would it not? Consider the pills a symbol of one's best wishes. Aw, she was <sighs> approval. So when I tried to conceal my name and mistakes from the world and hide myself away in perpetuity, the only person I managed to deceive was myself. You knew where I was all along. One still remembers when you were but a fledgling. You possessed a certain fondness for a particular game. You would hide yourself among a group of wild cranes and ask one to pick you out from among the flock. One found you with Aww. such ease every time. Tis the truth most evident. One always recognizes one's own. God, no she's really what isn't form mom. they may take. Mm. Wait, wait, wait! My mom's confused! She's a mom! So, Cloud Retainer, you mom. Have again? But how? When? And what happened after that? To mother instincts. <sighs> Perhaps it is now time for one to recount the rest of the tale. Literally, mother instincts! Oh my god, please, don't make my primos rain. You already have me! Let go! You already have me a chokehold! No more! Please, no! I beg! I beg! You already have me a chokehold, please, no more! Ya no mas, ayúdame! No! I just want Farazad! Oh, okay, I thought it was a cutscene. Oh my god, I thought I was already dealing with a fucking cutscene! Oh. Please, no. One was furious upon receiving the letter. Seized with anger. Ooh, one set flower. out to bring you to your senses. Damn, you are about to be fucking mother. <gasps> oh! <gasps> They're glowing! Is it like what she, is it because like she's wet? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Or is it just the ability? Yeah. Oh! 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 <sighs> it's cute. Oh my god. Oh, you're not the one who's about to C6 or 5 this woman. Oh no! <gasps> I'm sorry. I can't stop. This is so pretty. The glow. Ah! Oh no. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god, it's so pretty! What the fuck? Oh my god! In truth, one had more than a few misgivings about your chosen partner. As an exorcist, <gasps> his talent was lacking. One could hardly say his skill with sigils was any better. I was like, hold on, wait! I hate for her to meet Chung Yoon then. Oh, is that. Is that where Xiao got the fucking attitude from? Like, oh, he's just getting in the way. <laughs> like, the, the supposedly in the back... I don't know if it's backstory or, like, the voice line. I just remember when he was younger. Chung Yu was young. He would just get irritated. Thinking that the exorcists, you know, don't have a like, place or they can't help or anything. So he was, again, he was training to prove him wrong. That's, that's what I remember for sure. But soon, one came to appreciate the devotion he bestowed upon you during your illness. He never uttered a complaint and rarely left your side. Aww. Unwilling to begrudge someone of such character, one decided to overlook his aforementioned deficiencies, glaring though they may have been. Ooh. Wishing to grant you a life without regrets, one gathered many divine ingredients and used one's own blood to create a form of medicine. Though imperfect, it managed to suppress the more dire effects of your illness. As for how to deliver the medicine, after much contemplation, one eventually decided to perform the deed oneself. One took great care to alter one's features and select the appropriate <laughs> attire. Sorry, that was funny. After meticulous scrutiny, did one finally set out for Wang Shu in. Wait, <laughs> don't tell me you literally only put a mustache. <laughs> I mean, I know you could change your whole form, but like, 
Is that all? Unexpected. You were most <laughs> ignorant of one's true identity. You showed not even the slightest inkling of recognition. <laughs> I mean, if you just cover the whole body, it's <laughs> sorry. It's always funny. Sorry, mm. but it's other. Either way, it's sweet. Torn. Should one have celebrated the success of one's disguise, or mourn the loss of your acquaintance? Mm. Oh my god. Don't do this. I'm not gonna lie, the soundtracks. Oh my god. Ah! Okay, I almost. <laughs> oh! Actually, actually, I have to hop all the way over. Oh, okay. Let's see. Oh, I do actually fucking have to go <laughs> up. Oh! If you are amenable, even considering your loss of memory, one was simply flabbergasted that you could so easily forget the consequences of consuming medicine infused with adeptal blood. Its proclivity to attract monsters is hardly that complicated of a concept to remember. To think oh. that you tried to travel while weak from sickness and heavy with child. Had one not intervened to clear the fog, all of you would have been lost during the night. Oh, the barrier. I'm oh, sorry, I just got goosebumps. Oh my god, so... Like, all, like, it felt like her prayer was answered that night. Oh no. Now this is how you have a playable character for a cutscene. Ah! God, no, my emotions. Uh, no, come here, you little rat bastard. Just get over here. Oh no. Please, no, don't do this to me. <laughs> Those monsters would hardly have pursued you with such ferocity without sufficient incentive. They were likely incited by the presence of godly remains. <laughs> Said godly remains, in turn, were likely drawn to the trace of one scent on your body. Juan was, after all, an active participant in the Archon War. Some of the gods were likely shattered by contraptions of one's very making. In the end, Juan was relieved to see you endure through the night. At the break of dawn, Juan heard an infant's cry pierce through the air. And Juan saw you carefully cradle the child to your chest. Although certain mortal matters remain foreign to me, one could not help but be moved by your joy. I just remember, don't... <sighs> Correct me if I'm wrong, I know that swans, geese, and like stokes, but do cranes also like mate for life? Just gotta be more to break it a little straight. <laughs> that was more than enough. Please, doll. Like, I'm happy, you know, but like, fuck. I'm actually tearing up a little now bit. Now you should have a complete understanding of the events. Wait, but if that's true, then the crane who took care of me when I was sick must also be... Ah, one had almost neglected to recount the absurdities of that tale. Meat! <laughs> Sorry, I saw that. Oh. <gasps> I'm oh, sorry, it just looks so pretty like this. What the fuck? Oh! <gasps> I think it's just the lighting or some shit that actually makes it look so much nicer. Oh, yes. More species of. Most species of cranes do me for life. Oh! <laughs> no! 
Just as you and I troubled one with her antics, so did you give one many a headache. <laughs> she, she makes that. Oh, I have my <laughs> Shut the fuck up. Oh my god. Upon finding you burning with fever, one made plans to bring you back to one's abode for treatment. Okay, I was right. However, upon seeing one's form, you began to cry, refusing to get on one's back. Oh, shit, they're throwing a hissy fit. When one asked you why, <laughs> apparently you believed that one could not possibly be a true adeptus because all <laughs> illuminated cranes are white from tip to toe. But there's two different crying, though. One had no choice but Aww. to apply powder to one's body to conceal the variegated nature of one's appearance. Oh. You became more than amenable enough when one stood before you devoid of any other coloring. Wait, what? Wait, 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 She did what? It bears mentioning, however, that as a crane, you and I was nearly entirely pure white in color. Though you had never encountered her oh. in that form, you still recognize the essence of her being. Wow. What the fuck? I was thinking there was her, but like pure white feathers. Okay, I was still wasn't wrong. Oh. Perhaps fate That's brought so... you two together in more ways than one. Damn. I I'm sorry. I'm just like, wow. She put makeup. Oh. I I mean I guess like a kid would actually like you know It's it's kind of interesting cuz technically you know like the grandma like white feathers even though she never seen her that form it's just she felt like a comfort like she felt comforting Now all has been revealed <sighs> One owes you an apology you and I One recognized you upon your very entrance into Wan Mean restaurant one has always viewed you as a disciple of equal standing with Ganyu and Shenhe. Indeed, one wished to bring your story to a satisfactory end with this visit to Liyue Harbor. Still, one could not reveal your identity right away. Had one simply informed you of all you had lost, all those cherished memories would merely have become the fictionalized account of another. Memories are most meaningful when recalled by those who lived through them. Would you not agree? Even if the process was painful and arduous to experience. <sighs> Have you any further inquiries? Master, I... I must ask. If you found me all those years ago, why did you leave me be, even though you knew about my mistake? Why did you not bring me back to Mount Outsong by force? One has never regarded your action as a mistake. It was a simple choice. Nothing more. I was gonna say, like, sure, I wouldn't think she would be that trick. it is time trick. for one's progeny to leave the nest, oh. it is the responsibility of an elder to let them fly free. Yet, when your wings grow weary and the night grows dark, just know that you always have a place to which to return. Aww. Tis a refuge referred to by many a name in mortal writing. Home, nest, haven. Whatever its denomination may be, its essence remains quite unchanged. Hmm. One speaks, of course, of a place not unlike one's own abode. One's disciples are free to come and go as they wish. Yet the door remains forever open to those who wish to return. One rather hopes you count yourself among them. Aww. Thank you. I just... Thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> no! You and I. Pretty sure, like, I'm, I'm pretty sure... <laughs> I know she's like, you know, just being sympathetic and like, it's one of those things she finally realized. But like, I, I know like most mothers would just be like, 
But now you could have come home at any given time. You made a choice. You feel happy about it. All right, you do you. Uh, one expects you too have sensed the rapid deterioration of your condition as of late. Have you not? Oh no. Forty years ago, you chose a path without a future. Though one used one's own blood to provide you with a few decades of extra time, it merely delayed the inevitable. One may have extended the path, yet one was unable to alter its final destination. Ah, oh, even the power of an adeptus has its limits. Had your condition continued to deteriorate, you would have forgotten your life as a human entirely. In the end, you would have turned into a creature lacking in the ability to even comprehend its own monstrousness. Fortunately, you were able to avoid that scenario by reclaiming your memories. Though one sped the process along by providing some guidance, the result is entirely a reflection of your own effort. So, what's gonna happen to Granny? One will help her reclaim her original form as a wild crane. If it be fated, she may recover her sentience one day. She's oh, gonna wait. go back to being a regular crane, huh? Ah, uh, no, don't tell. No, no, please. Master. You've already done more than enough for me. I don't know how I could possibly repay your kindness. This is a better result than I could have ever hoped for. How much time do I have left? <sighs> Not long. The transformation is imminent. Are you ready? Aww. Please don't leave, okay? You're all I have left. No! Don't be sad, dear child. Granny has led a wonderful life. My only regret is having to leave you behind. Uh. Don't forget to eat well, okay? A growing young lady like yourself needs lots of good food to grow big and strong. Promise Granny you'll take good care of yourself when I'm gone. I promise, Granny. I'll do whatever you say. Fuck, don't mess with me like this! What good the fuck? Girl. Good girl. Don't worry. It's not goodbye forever. Granny's gonna become the most formidable crane in all of Mount Outsung. Granny will train day and night. I won't stop until I can turn into a human without having to rely on anything but my own power. When that day comes, we'll be able to live together again. You and I. How's that sound? Good. That's a good girl. Even though we won't see each other for a little while, as long as we both work hard, we're sure to meet again someday. Uh, I'll eat well, Granny. I promise. And I'll wait for you, no matter how long it takes. I'll wait for you to come back. That's a good girl. Then Granny really has no more regrets. I'm so sorry, Master. Thank you for everything. Fuck. I mean. She's not really dead per se, but it also is like fucking painful. Uh, no, she's running! Oh. Oh my god, no! Oh. Hear you. Let her be. At her age, crying is a natural, if not fitting, response to such an event. Of the emotional damage. Tears are a necessary part of maturation. Sometimes there is scarcely a better vehicle to wash away the toll of stress and misery. 
I know. Again, in the, the, she's not dead, but it feels it hurts. The issue has been resolved. You, you should also take a moment to relax. Give yourself some time to rest. Take a nap if you must. One will wake you in due time. Ah! Fucking emotional damage. The soundtrack's pretty. It's pretty what the fuck? Oh. Wait, what? No, this is a dream. No, 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 no. Don't fuck with me like this. Wait, wait, no. Hold on. No, wait, no, this is a dream. Don't fuck with me. No. sweet but even then oh. the idea of them reunited no oh but everything's so gorgeous this could stay this way forever oh don't punch me in the gut like saying the what ifs oh, it's one of those bittersweet shits don't do that oh holy shit a nightmare Curious. If you relaxed, shouldn't your dreams be pleasant? Ah! It was a good dream. It's just you weren't ready to wake up. Yeah, that's why it hurts. That's why it hurts is to wake it up from a good dream. Uh. Oh, it's so weird seeing Paimon actually not floating. Oh. Eloquent as one may be, words of comfort are not one's strong suit. You are doing all you can. One can see your strength of will, your fearlessness in the face of danger. And so, whatever your dream may be, one believes that you shall achieve it. Of course, whenever the perils you face overwhelm you, or you become weary, one is always here for you. After all, as an elder, it is only right to look out for the young ones. Fucking Paimon? Sometimes you forget the little menace can actually be adorable. Sometimes. Sometimes if she's not in your mora. Huh? Uh, was Paimon sleeping just now? You know, you would forget that you would see the wobbling from her point of view. <laughs> or it's weird seeing a point of view, you know, like that's actually looking at a traveler like that. Oh. Eating grilled chicken drumsticks, that's all. Paimon, <laughs> um. You know, I don't think. I don't think, you know, eating chicken in front of a bird is a wise idea. <laughs> I love the reunion, Shingen's words of comfort really made my day. It's. 
Uh, it's sweet. Don't get me wrong. It's very sweet. But I, the reason why I don't like it is because like she pointed, she said it exactly. You just don't want to wake up. I would not want to wake up. That's why I don't like it. I don't want to wake oh, up. Uh, that's why I said don't do that shit. It's so like sweet, but like I, fuck. I feel don't do that. A little better. Thanks. Like it's a it's a good motivation. We'll see Granny again someday. Like see. I don't feel so sad anymore. I, like, I completely understand that mindset. It, it's good writing, but like, fuck, I don't like it. I don't I like that. Madam Adeptus, oh. could I uh, ask you something? Would you take me in as a disciple? Oh, and have you reasons for this sudden interest? I know Granny thought what she did back then was wrong. She felt really bad about it. Without that mistake, I would have never been born. Even though Granny lost her memories, she never forgot to show me how much she loved me. So, I thought maybe one day... I could become a cool adeptus like you, and help a whole bunch of people, just like Granny wanted to do. <sighs> Upon some reflection, one supposes you are no mere mortal. The fact that Yuan Dai's blood flows through your veins is proof enough of that. If this is what you desire, one shall make it so. Thank you Aww. so much, Madam Adeptus. No, uh, I mean, Master. Just like Yan Fei's father. I mean, yeah. Uh, she, pretty you much. Sure about this? Uh, she's not gonna go easy on you. I mean, actually, no, she might have a soft heart. Hyman's gonna let you in on a little secret. We've seen Cloud Retainer's two other disciples, and they pretty much eat nothing but bitter herbs like Chin Chin and Violet Grass. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Paimon! Fucking Paimon! Paimon! There is a difference between them! <laughs> Paimon! <laughs> Fucking Paimon! Look, she's probably gonna eat worms, come the fuck. She's so human! <laughs> if you join them, you'll never enjoy one Min restaurant's delicious cooking ever again! She- Paimon! She's right there! <laughs> she, she's right fucking there! Thinks with her stomach all the fucking time does- Yes! Yes, she does! But like, even she could enjoy the meals! Paimon! How utterly preposterous. <laughs> one has never enforced such a rule. Those are- those- those fucking don't okay, God you and Shanna are too fuck There's a difference between those, Paimon! Every individual the must find you. their own path to enlightenment. <laughs> so long as one retains a pureness of spirit, oh my one's god. dietary proclivities are quite Oh irrelevant. my god. Imagine you have to forever give up your favorite, like you have to give up your favorite like your favorite like meal. Or like anything related to it. Let's just say you like bacon. You gotta give up pork forever. All right, gone. <laughs> you have to eat grass. <laughs> Salad does not count. Oh my well, god. Well, you say that, but Paimon's not seeing any tasty treats up here now, is she? Oh my god. <laughs> Paimon, she's not. You haven't asked her to make anything. Although Mount Outsong is rich in natural beauty, gonna its them. location gonna does let you down. access to certain finer mortal comforts. That is precisely why one plans to relocate to Liyue Harbor. Shu Yu shall have the honor of becoming one's first disciple in the human world. Hmm? Oh, yeah, actually, it makes sense. Whoa! You're leaving Mel outside? Is that why you took on this human form? One has never concerned oneself with the location of one's residence. From the very beginning, one has sought only solace and peace. Oh my god. Yet in the end, all of one's disciples ended up in Liyue Harbor. Ganyu, Shenhe, Yuan Dai. They all chose a life among the mortal world. You think about trying it yourself? One has reflected on this fact for many years now. One can only assume that it is due to some failing on one's part as an elder or master. A failing, perhaps, of recognizing what it was they truly wanted. One is most curious as to what aspect of Liyue Harbor could have enticed them to remain there. <sighs> One could hardly offer an opinion on the matter. 
But perhaps some time in the harbor will prove instructive. <sighs> no. Poor thing. Why are you all so silent? Um, we're just very surprised. <laughs> Does this mean we can grab a meal together in Leeway Harbor sometime? Aww. Hm. One has precious little time to squander. However, if one finds oneself otherwise unoccupied, one would not be opposed to the idea. God. I'm sure I met some Honestly, this is probably like this is probably like the second like mother. I say mother character to me. Not like mommy, if you know what I mean. Like motherly character that I One actually will be genuinely assuming like. the identity of a human while residing in Liyue Harbor. You should take care to avoid disclosing one's true identity. Now we will just be careful how you speak. Don't worry, we'll help you keep it a secret. I mean, I can. Paimon, not so much. So, uh, when can we expect to start seeing you in the city? Perhaps in two days' time. One has some matters to see to before one's departure. Preparation is the key to success, after all. One plans to put up various items from one's collection for sale. The earnings should provide for a comfortable living in Liyue Harbor. Hmm. Huh. Whatever. I, I, I feel like it's too, like, mom. Like, I, it's one of those things where, like, you see, it's like, I don't know. I can't see it because I see her like, mom. Like, that type of deal. I'll call her whatever she wants. One has already picked out a handsome Jesus. property near Chihu Rock. It's no small purchase, yeah. but... What is mortal life if not one expense after another? It's all of it. Just I actually know what you mean. I just shit post as usual. Nah. <laughs> There's honestly someone else would have said the same shit. Like, why not both? I'm like, <laughs> can't. I personally can't because I'm just seeing her like, oh, mom. Seems like you've really thought of everything. Then mm -hmm. how about we meet up in Leo Harbor in two days? A sensible plan. See you then. Oh. Also, oh, why don't you take this suspense insomnia mechanism as a souvenir? Oh. Anytime you should feel ill at ease in the future, you may try quieting your mind and sitting in meditation as you listen to its melodies. It might help you find a new perspective. <gasps> new housing. Awesome! Thanks, Cloud Retainer! Yeah! Oh. Hey, didn't we promise Shincho that we'd tell him what we Hey! We should we make a trip to the Feiyun Commerce Guild? It's totally. Fuck, I wish I could jump. This is sister of a mature lady. I feel like there's a lot of characters that could pass like the sister. Or even the young- even like the little sister. And you want to be the big brother. Like there's a handful of characters. You're just like, oh, this would be my- I get where you're coming from, but with- But what- what with you two being birds and all- Hey! The fuck you mean? It may or may not be you stola. I can see- I can see why you stola. Oh, two days. Fucking- I have to do this thing again. Because if I don't, it's not going to count as two days. Maybe they fixed that. I don't know. Now it's two days. So I was asking, uh, I was asking the guy who mentioned this. Is this sister a mature lady? What do you mean? I did this to try to figure that. I, I'm trying to figure out what you mean. Ah. Uh, Final Fantasy fourteen. I see, like, what's it called? Well, since it's you, I'll leave it up to you. I don't, I don't know if you'll be that question. I'm sorry. Or you mean like the friend, I mean the guy friend I was talking about. Um, for Final Fantasy XIV. Ah, brain's not working. It was the twins. It was the twins. It was the twins. Oh my god. My memory is so shit right now. Why? Like, normally, you know, my friend is all, like the friend. My, my brain is like literally shit. He means, he means me. How I say some were more sister than sexy. Ah, uh, yeah. It's like one of those things where like, you don't see it more. Like more, more than that. It's one of those things where you're just like, I was saying the entire character's name for no reason. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Oh God, it's going to bother the shit out of me. Especially, I, I play 14. I'm going to get chewed out for not remembering their names. Don't tell me. Hold on. Don't, don't tell me. Don't, don't tell me. 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 I said don't tell me, Val! Alice. Alice. Oh, God. Like, there's like a... There's like a cutscene where, um... You hang out with Alice. And the way how Alice says it... 
kind of feels like a little bit more than a sister type of deal. And I'm just like, I don't know, a little, a little bit more than a friend. Like, it's one of those things like a descendant nature. And I'm just like, oh. I, I was there, you were bawling your eyes out in that cutscene. But I also see the meaning in all the endeavors of the people of Fontaine. I don't talk about that. Continue to take pride don't, in don't talk about that. Duties. We don't talk about that. <laughs> we don't talk about that. Like, she started just like a big crush. As the story went on, some interactions happened. I stopped seeing her romantically and became... And she became a big sister. Yeah. A little bit more. Laughs. No! Don't remind me about that. Don't remind me. I cried. No. No, I cannot hear the soundtrack without crying. If somebody were to like troll me about playing that song, I have to leave the call. I cannot. I cannot hear a certain soundtrack in that game now. Your concerns are excessive and unfounded. Oh this is but a simple collection of ordinary valuables. Such intense <laughs> scrutiny is hardly necessary. Oh shit, <laughs> the job life ain't easy life. Uh, to be quite honest, your insistence on that fact is my primary cause for concern. Oh no. In what oh, no. way are any of these ordinary? Every single item here could be worth more than everything I own combined. I simply can't risk shelling out that kind of mora without proper scrutiny. If I'm wrong, I would never be able to earn it back. Not even if I worked every single day for the rest of my life. <laughs> uh. I have to be careful. Yes, you can never be too careful. Mm. You make a broke. Oh, that sucks. Uh, Miss Shenyan. <laughs> oh god. Oh, for this thing, pay attention to Paimon's uh, face. Oh time. god. This ignoramus is questioning the authenticity of my wares. <laughs> I'll have you know, these items have remained untouched in my personal collection for several hundred years. To question their legitimacy is pure folly. <laughs> so, see you. Hundred years? It, indeed. Oh no. <laughs> They're family heirlooms, you see. Passed down over many generations, as families are wont to do. <laughs> it's a bad temper. It's <laughs> pretty much. Yep, yep, they've definitely been around a while. We can vouch for her on that one. I want to take a closer look at them and be like... Hear that? Had I not her. found myself in need of Mora, I would scarcely have had the heart to part with them. Indeed, you should consider That's a lot. Wait, is it the whole thing? To behold them with your own eyes. Like the chest, the shit on top? <laughs> Doubt their authenticity any further. We're only... And I may just decide to take them to another buyer. We're solely. Hold on, we we were solely. Whoa, 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 please don't go. I apologize <laughs> for any insult, miss. You see, I know full well that I lack the knowledge to judge the true <laughs> worth of these items. If you could wait but a moment. I've hired an expert to appraise them for me. He should be here shortly. <laughs> an expert, you <laughs> tell me. <laughs> Ooh, very well. I will wait for a little while longer then. Traveler, Paimon, this is my new residence. If you have cause to seek my company in the future, this is where you can find me. <laughs> Master! Oh, it's you two again. <gasps> oh! Sorry, it's so cute. That's so cute. It's just adorable. You got a new outfit. It looks great on you. That's adorable. Mm -hmm. Master made it for me. I like it too. I what? I what what? Huh? You know how to make clothes? <laughs> Do I know how to make clothes? With the support of the proper mechanism, sewing is hardly Wait. a challenge. Can you make me clothes? Master, I brought in most of my stuff. There's Mother? A few boxes left with Mom? Heavy, so I just left them outside. Oh. Oh, fuck, wait. Fred not. I shall help you move them into your room. Oh, wait. Actually, I, I should probably uh, sort through my stuff a bit first. Oh, no. It's kind of messy right now, so maybe you could um, not look yet, Master. <laughs> yeah, That's what it's one of those things, everything's just unorganized, everything's just cluttered in the fucking box, all squeezed together. Just like, okay, if I hammer this nail, everything will be fine. <laughs> it appears my young Aww. apprentice has her own fair share of secrets. No matter. Do what you must, child. Oh my god. Imagine Ganyu and Shinha moving to Harbor to, to avoid her strict behavior, but she moves in too. They're like, oh fuck. 
I don't know. I think they'd be happy, but it's like one of those things, like seeing a mother. And technically, it's like the little girl's like the little granddaughter when you think about it. Soon, soon. Ah, there he is. <laughs> Here, allow me to make some introductions. <laughs> this is Mr. Zhang Li. There he is. A well respected is. consultant at Wang Shang Funeral Parlor and an expert in all manner of valuables and antiques. <laughs> I was like, where's Zhang Li? <laughs> He's the only one. He's the only one that literally could actually be the best of the best when it comes to all artifacts because, you know, <clears throat> he lived through all that. <laughs> Mr. Zhongli, this is Miss Shen Yun. Oh, God. She's the one who's looking to sell the collection of valuables I mentioned earlier. I can't believe you did it twice. What do you mean by that? <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> uh. <laughs> He's just like, fuck. This is just like... Venti all over again. Fuck my life. <laughs> huh. <laughs> For shout. <laughs> it was just a coincidence! It's a fucking coincidence. How? Okay, listen. Look. This one? This was obvious as fuck. The inn? Where the fuck does Shao go half the time? Most of the time he always hangs out over there. It's not a, like, I'm not jinxing it. I just know it. I just know it. Ah. Uh. If it isn't Miss Shenyun, <laughs> it has been quite some time since our last meeting. What a serendipitous <laughs> reunion. Oh, boy. Um, in indeed, most serendipitous. <laughs> uh, have you been faring well as of late, Mr. Zhongli? <laughs> quite well, thank yep. you. I was fortunate enough over the past oh. few days to enjoy both a stroll in the mountains and a fresh brew of tea from the most recent harvest. The experiences left me with such insight and peace. <laughs> like I said, I'm not surprised. I just fucking said it. I... <laughs> huh. Uh, so you two are already acquainted? Oh, God. Literally, now that I think about it, all her fucking friends move into Liwe Harbor. All of them, if not somewhere in a resident where there's people. Now she just needs the two old fossils to come around. Actually, I, I think those. Now that I think about it, I think those two are probably be wondering where the fuck did she go. Indeed, <laughs> how fortunate we are that fate has brought us together again. <laughs> if you are otherwise unaware. Allow me to inform you that Miss Shenyun is a well-regarded collector and appraiser. She is well-versed in all fields, and oft celebrated for her impeccable taste. You stand to gain much from this opportunity. Like, I imagine, like, these are old artifacts and all that. So somebody's gonna have to appraise them, and <laughs> there's no other than him. <laughs> you are too kind, Mr. Zhongli. True collectors pride themselves on their wealth of knowledge and eye for detail. <laughs> I can say without a doubt that you are foremost in that regard. <laughs> fucking Paimon! Oh my god, I need a fucking... I need a picture of that. That smug little fucking face. That little smug little face of just like, oh yeah. <laughs> Shit's real here. Oh yeah. Mm. Uh, obviously, I don't know this one. Your Honor, I don't know my client. <laughs> I just know that my client's a fucking liar. <laughs> Why? Dude, you smug. Me, Miss Shen Yun. Fucking smug. It would seem that you are. It's it's not really like a smug. It's more like a side eye type of deal. Like hmm, hmm, hmm. <laughs> not at all, Mister Shangli. Oh not at my all. god. Um, it's just like a little side while eye. Just I am like hmm. Loath to butt into this conversation. I must ask. Are your husband and wife? <laughs> You two already knew each other, and you <laughs> seem to have quite a cordial relationship. <laughs> Wait, I, I was about to drink water! You're not working together to swindle me? I mean, you never know. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I saw a relationship, and I'm like, Wait! Wait, hold on, I was about to drink water. I'm not saying I told you so, but I told you so. <laughs> A preposterous accusation. Oh. The heavens themselves would collapse before we would conspire to do such a thing. <laughs> mm. 
about that. Miss Shenyun speaks the truth. But the... <laughs> Contracts are built on honesty and trust. If that proves to be beyond your capabilities in this instance, <laughs> this transaction may be taken elsewhere. Bro, he's just doing his job. You, you can't blame him. Say no more. Let us depart. <laughs> oh my god. I, I jest, I jest. <laughs> what fool would still harbor doubts after Mr. Zhang <sighs> himself has vouched mm -hmm. for the goods? Miss Shenyun, Miss Shenyun, wait. Oh my god. The last line, the last, like, you know, the last line right there. They're just like, wait, wait, give me a chance. <laughs> Fucking Paimon. I feel bad! We, we're technically- we're not swindling him, but also kind of are. The merch out here living out his shippy dream. Bro, he's doing his job, you. man. So, um, Mr. Zhongli, could you please give me a final verdict on the value of these items? Imagine, they're all worthless. <laughs> there is no cause for concern. <laughs> they are indeed rare and precious valuables. Take this mechanism, for instance. Though one may not immediately perceive its purpose, its structure and appearance are exquisite enough to merit it a place in any fine home. The same can be said for this one here. Mm. You could hope to possess an item that so perfectly blends mechanical wonder with geometric grace. I am sure you have heard from your travels that the study of mechanisms is among the most wondrous arts in this world. With that in mind, I earnestly recommend procuring every last item in this collection. <laughs> All right. Since I hired you as my consultant, Mr. Zhongli, I shall, of course, trust your good opinion. Oh, my fucking God. Then, in that case, Miss Shenyun, I'll take the lot. However, since the final sum is quite large, how about we start with an initial deposit through the Northland Bank? Oh, wait, does she have a Northland Bank? Mm. Huh. Oh, you refer to the fiduciary house. Oh my god. Oh, very well. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I fear people only use the term bank nowadays. In that case, I'll be off for now. I'll return to collect the goods once you've received the funds. I just I I just noticed her claws by the way. <sighs> <laughs> 20 minutes later, this is the last time I pulled this stuff for you. I don't know, I feel like it might be the other way around. My friends, have you been doing well? We've been great. How about you? Paimon didn't know you were such a busy consultant. Oh my god. You just noticed it. I look respectively. I look, I just look respectively. Actually, it was her eyes and her hair that was distracting me. My days have been quite pleasant as well. And the outfit. Okay, I, have I may have gotten distracted by the cup outfit. Of tea when Mr. Shaozu requested my services. <laughs> as for you, Miss Shenyun, I presume you must be looking to settle in the city. Oh, is she gonna live like right there? I must say, the name Shenyun sounds exceedingly strange coming from you. Perhaps you could dispense of that particular epithet in further conversation. Mm, yeah, Zongli. Whatever for. Am I not addressing you as a friend should? Oh, boy. One looks. Well, I must respect. That is true. One but... looks. One must look respectful. I must. <sighs> Alas, refer to me however you will. After all, a name exists such that others may address you with it. One is hardly ignorant of that fact. <laughs> mm. It would seem that you have gained many valuable insights over the years, Cloud Retainer. One has indeed. One's previous stays were all brief. Now that one has made up one's mind to move and settle, one has gained a much better appreciation of the hubbub and commotion of the city, as well as the people's hard work and ardor. Oh my god. My resources is very expensive. Yes, how much? How oh no! Thousand years ago. Oh no! How much? I'll be honest. Her wings are her wings are what's keeping my attention so shiny. Not unlike no. the ocean tides, so too shall the movement of people ebb and flow, from turmoil to peace, enlightenment to aspiration. Human society possesses limitless potential. 
In another thousand years, the scene we witness here may change in ways that are impossible for either of us to imagine. All right, that's enough reflection for one day. No need to get all sentimental on us. <laughs> you make a valid point, Paimon. Now that the sale has concluded, what say one plays the host as we try some specialty oh, dishes no. together? One must profess great interest in trying bamboo shoot soup. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. Perhaps you have forgotten, Cloud Retainer, but I once tried my hand at that dish. You were at the table on that occasion, so logic dictates that you should have already tried it. Oh, that's right. That's uh, that wasn't that sometime like last year. Oh, what occasion was this? Oh wait, she didn't. It was a reunion between was friends it? several centuries ago. Alas, you must have been too preoccupied to secure yourself a portion, or perhaps our other companions simply <sighs> availed themselves of faster reflexes on that occasion. <laughs> Bro, that's fucked up. That's fucked up. They didn't save her a portion. I have my proportion. I have my portion still. Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> Hardly. Twas most certainly out of consideration for the others in attendance. In but a moment, one will show you what it means to have a true deafness of hand. It is settled then. Bamboo shoot soup, mora meat, crab row tofu, triple layer consomme. <laughs> we shall enjoy the lot. Hey! One has already passed word to Shenhun Ganyu to make a reservation. Oh, it fuck. It is prime time for them to meet one's newest disciple. Is that agreeable to everyone? <laughs> Fucking shit up. Like, she's, uh, she's like, oh, I feel hungry. I'm gonna go visit Shenha. <laughs> Have a little chit chat with her. Oh, man. She'll call and break. It's all fine. I have my little Miha over there. Oh, wait. I see my other Miha working over there. Don't worry. I want to talk to her for a little wee bit. <laughs> Oh my it god. It should be a most splendid occasion. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming to me. Shoo you. Come now. It is time to dine. Ah, this gentleman over here is Mr. Zhang Li. He is, um... Ah, uh, godsend work? A humble mm, employee know. of Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor. Pleased to make your acquaintance. That also works. <laughs> nice to meet you too, Mr. Zhang Li. <laughs> you see, he's a god at his work. That should be everyone. Workplace. Right, let's go. <laughs> Your new grandpa. <laughs> no. Sounds good. Actually, Master, have you ever tried Adeptus's temptation? I heard it's impossible to stop eating after even just one bite. Ah. Uh, because it's super tempting and stuff. You also Is could do true? critical damage with that shit. Hmm. That sounds rather implausible. More critical than that dream. Although with the right preparation, certain dishes can be too delicious to resist. <sighs> I was gonna say, how the fuck were you trailing hey, on there? Hey, wait up! <laughs> grandpa and grandpa. <laughs> Pretty much! Oh my god. Oh, it's so pretty! Ah, fuck! I imagine just take a picture, just remove the character. I could do that, but even then. Ah, just get rid of the NPCs. Problem solved. <sighs> uh, Cinder blends and claws like the cactus in a rainforest. <laughs> What kind of cactus are you seeing? Oh boy. <laughs> Me and my little sad primos. I have 85! <sighs> and now she now she's in Liwe. Right next to Oh. Oh no! Oh no! I just realized that! She's with perfume lady! Oh no! Wait, hold on. Oh wait, I see something. Unsigned letter. It seems with a book of accounts, a letter can be found inside. My little you, my dear daughter. By the time you read this, mommy and daddy will have already left to go to go on a long journey. Your granny may be a little forgetful t sometimes, so try to jog down little reminders for her around the house whenever you can. Mommy and daddy are counting on you to take care of gran gran granny while we're gone. You might be wondering why Wally and Daddy have to leave. Well, my dear daughter, in this world, everyone's got something that they just have to do. Your mommy and daddy are no different. Wait, what? Did you know? 
Daddy was awfully sick as a child. How sick, you may ask? Well, even the doctor could barely feel Daddy's pulse. It was that week. But Daddy still managed to grow up. Looking back, there were many times when Daddy thought he might not be able to make it. In the end, though, Daddy pushed through every time. Pretty amazing if you think about it. Maybe Daddy is just really lucky, or who knows. Maybe he has some super powerful adeptus looking out for him. Either way, Daddy has always felt like he received a lot of love from this world. And you know what? Daddy loves this world right back. They told Daddy that his this mission would be super dangerous, but both Mommy and Daddy decide to sign up. You'll have to grow quite a bit taller the next time Mommy and Daddy see you again. Maybe you'll be so big by then that Mommy and Daddy won't even recognize you. How about this? Let's use a code! Do you still remember that one phrase Daddy taught you while you were little? That could be our secret code the next time we see each other again. That way we'll recognize each other no matter what. You'll remember it. Do you remember it, do you? No! While the Millennials stand guard, evil shall never... Wait. While the Millennials stand guard, evil shall never prevail. Fuck! No! <laughs> They went to get me to dump the kid. They were. Uh, oh, the dad. The dad. Uh, the, the power. They were both soldiers who died and served. Ah! Uh, <laughs> that last line explains a little bit more. They did not dump. They did not leave the kid alone. It's just they had to go. Fuck! Oh my god. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! <sighs> what did I complete? Ah, No! <laughs> fuck the fuck! Ugh. Take this, please. I swear to God! You can't just dump that on me! Collect rocks. Rocks are great. Rocks are everything. Rocks are special. Done. <sighs> are you guys even there? The star? No? Okay, goodbye. Honest, that's just plain stupid. Uh, it's <sighs> if I rip the bandaid by pulling. If I rip the bandaid by pulling, you know. It's just going to hurt regardless what I do. Plus, I actually want the guy! And Farzan. I already see Six Noel. Uh, I can't. I don't want to do this to myself. Fucking hell. Rip the band aid, get it out of the way. Is that my boy? I sure hope so. Maybe it's Farzan! So interesting watching Phil I feel like my mom listening. Listen to my kid gushing about a Pokemon. <laughs> Yeah, sure, they're Pokemon! Oh, well, I got a free fucking wish for that! Oh my god. Noel, please don't be the only one. No, Noel! I swear, if you get faster than mine. I don't think so! There's no way I'll get fat. No, there's no way. I'm pretty sure she's gonna take a long time for her to come home, to be honest. There's no way she's gonna come home that early. Alright? I just mean how I'm at a little... <laughs> There's no way I'm gonna get her like that quick, to be honest. I, I highly doubt it. Oh, I could actually use that. But even... Th oh my god. Oh my god, my luck has gone down to shit. What the fuck? If it turns gold while you said that, I'm gonna flip. <laughs> do a flip! Do it! No balls! Do it! Do a fucking flip! Do a flop! Deadass, I hide- I don't think so. Oh. I feel like I should stop, but at the same time... Hey, oh, there's my boy! My boy! The communications office. My boy! So, all this needs shipping, right? Uh, no, no. You grab a seat and have some tea. I'll get these packed up for you, no problem. It'll only take me a minute, then we can get the delivery scheduled. Oh, Someone and pull if you ever want to book a show dance, roll. me and my crew are available oh, on a heartbeat. The pull a rusty the sword. Mechanics. And I'm the head. <laughs> Not to brag or anything. He's adorable! He's adorable! Oh my god, I want him. I, I want this one. I want him. Oh my god, he's got a dog. Yup! 
the snow and gold will shine on me. Nope. I knew it wasn't fate. Jesus Christ. Farzan! <sighs> Noel, please, can you not? <sighs> what the fuck? Noel! Noel? Can you not? Can you not? That's two free wishes. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the actual fuck is wrong with you? Noel! Just one more pie. No shine on me. Nope, I'm not lucky. Well, I think it's just as bad. I think I think this is bad. Oh no, I think this is just as bad, to be honest. Motherfucker, why do you keep showing up early? What the hell is wrong with you? I got your ass to like fucking see right there five all the time. Oh my god, oh no, it's not. So it's not an account. Oh my god. Maybe it is me. Maybe it's actually me. Am I am I cursed? Wait, no. So so many Sarahs. Wait. Am I actually the cursed one? Oh my god, I am cursed. <gasps> Where's all my luck gone to? Maybe it's one of those things that I actually want something and then they just never come home. Maybe it's actually one of those things, generally. Oh, I got my boy! God. Maybe it is one of those things. Maybe I am cursed. Like, holy fuck. Oh, hey, there it is. Phil, thought about Kanria and Celestia? Phil Moan is the cursed one. <laughs> maybe, maybe I am her. <laughs> yeah, hello, Gold. You're finally here. Oh my god! Oh no! No no no! <laughs> I have some birdsies for you! <laughs> Is it her? Is it thee? The only one? Holy fuck, let's go! In one's appearance and you barely recognize me. But let one dispel any doubt. One is in all things unconstrained and unabashed, free to live as one pleases, go where one desires, and journey with whomsoever one wishes. Uh, nevertheless, um, in light of one's considerable renown, no. call me Xian Yun in public. Yes. <laughs> hey, Farzad! Hey! Another Farzad. <laughs> well, <laughs> did I win? All right, so I marked out all the shit. I have to build her. Fuck. Oh fuck. <laughs> oh fuck. This was my 50-50, by the way. Oh, fuck! About Teddish. Well? <laughs> no, wait, 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 Belle! Wait, 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 Belle! Belle, Belle, I got her, I got her your weapon! Hold on! Wait, 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 Bell, Bell, wait, let's talk about this. Wait, let's talk. Bell, Bell, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. True within a reasonable amount of pulls. Oh, look, 50. Oh my god, was it 50? Oh, fuck. Oh, no. Bell, 
Belle, we can talk about it. Belle, we can we can talk about this all the time. Wait, 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 wait. Deal was the thing. Deal was the thing, but you got you know, now on your main account. You have to build. Wait. Oh fuck. Oh no. Oh shit. My, I got my boy. I have a demand to know more about it, but also fuck, I got the bird. I, I, I like me, me like. Where does this gliding dance meet back with gaming? Is heal? Oh, oh no. Oh shit. Oh fuck! Wait, can I? Can I? Can I go back? Oh, I got far as on. I got more far as on. <laughs> can I? Can I take her back? Wait. Wait, 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 this would you mean this no I mean can, can I have a wish back? When you wish upon the star <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh. Wait, can we talk about this? Can we talk about it? Oh my god. Ah! I, 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 I'll, I'll, build, I'll build it tomorrow. I'll build it tomorrow. I think this is a good stopping point. I think this is a good stopping point. Lafayette Le, thinks this is a good stopping point. <laughs> my revenge. But, but there's no revenge! You got her weapon! I, I helped. I helped weapon. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. I help weapon. I help you get weapon. In exchange, you don't hurt the fill. You don't hurt the fill. You want to talk about it right now? We can talk about it right now. Um. You know what? We're gonna end it here. We're we're gonna we're gonna end it here. We're gonna we're gonna end it here. I think this is a good, lovely stopping point. Let the Phil the Phil has done no crime. The Phil the Phil a good good person. Okay. I have my mind filled with talk about it <laughs> for the past three days. Oh shit! It's all those times I say let's talk about it. You know. Um, um. Hmm. Anyways, let's go. We're gonna end it here. Um. For, for those who don't know me, hi. My name is Melody. I stream variety right types of games. Uh. I'm. I'm gonna stream Genshin. I'm gonna stream Genshin. I'm gonna stream Genshin. Uh. No. This is no. Who do want? Okay. You can't do that. You can't do that to me. You can't do that to me. You can't do that to me. Hold on. You cannot do that one to me. Okay, out of all the things, you cannot do that one to me. Oh, fuck. You can't do that to me. Okay. All right. No more No more wishing after this patch. No more. No more. I just I just need to build them. Oh, God. Okay. I'm, I'm going to bed. Okay. I, 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 I'm going to strip get shit anyways. I'll, 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 we're going to explore the new area. Maybe I haven't touched this area. Maybe I can do it a little bit off stream. Maybe not. I don't know. <laughs> this is a whole new world here. A whole new world. With fantastic dreams, I'm heading to sleep. Goodbye. Good diets. I'm heading off. I can do whatever I want. I don't play Genshin. I'm invincible. <laughs> I do. I wish I was invincible. All right. I uh, hope you all have a wonderful time. I'm gonna head off. All right. No, no, thank you for joining. Special thanks to whoever watches the VOD. Oh, dear God. Oh, I have a lot to build. Will do. All right. Until then, I hope you all have a wonderful evening. I'm heading off. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. I'm literally, like Jesus. I died. I died. And three days later, was resurrected. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh dear. Okay. Bye bye. The Phil will be going. Bye bye.